Hello everyone, Zian over here from Nintendo Life. Welcome to the stream where I do my best to hold everything together. Uh, today we're going to be playing a game called To the Moon. Some of you probably already know this because that's how the stream was advertised and everything. How are you doing? How's everyone doing? We doing all right? We prepared for this? I, uh, I would have us already on like the start screen for the game, but I tested it out. And I think the game just like straight up throws you into the game right off the bat. So that's why we're hanging out here uh, on the on my menu. You can see I was playing Fire Emblem Engage last night. Dokapan Kingdom recently. Final Fantasy VI. And then Final Fantasy III before that. But we won't show you any of the other games. Because today we're going to play To the Moon. We're not playing any of, the, any of these RPGs. None of that. We're going to play a game that is probably going to rip me apart. Uh, Phil here in the in the in the chat is saying they're emotionally not ready. Uh, Victini was oh my gosh! I'm so glad you've kept yourself busy. Uh, how's everyone doing? Uh, I've never played this game before. I've heard that it's a very sad and emotional experience. I don't know uh, exactly what uh, what uh, what to expect. But I think that is my, that's one of my favorite things about playing a game is, is like figuring out its story, you know? So I, we'll see, we'll see what happens. I don't, uh, I don't know what to expect, but I am happy with that, honestly. Um, Alex is telling me that the ticker, the thing on the bottom is broken. Oh no, why is it, why is it broken? The, the thing that says Nintendo Life on the bottom. Let me see. If I can fix it, what have I done? Nope. Nope. That's not what I want to do. Hmm. Hold on. I have a thing that I can do. One second. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. I really want to ask questions. Like, I really want to be like, who all here has played To the Moon? But I kind of... Like I said, the story is my favorite thing in video games for the most part. So I don't, like, want spoilers. But I want to know, like... Who here has been through this before and who is uh, joining us for the first time? Um, maybe that's maybe that's an easy question to ask because I am genuinely curious. Like how many of you <laughs> have experienced this and are coming back for seconds? You know, that's what I that's what I want to know. Uh, give me one sec, y'all, while I uh, while I get this thing fixed here. Mm -mm -mm. I like want to sing the Blues Clues song, the Blue Sky Do Weekend Too. I think that's what it was. While I'm trying to fix things. Oh well, I can't seem to find the thing that I want. That's okay. I'm, I'm messaging Alex right now, and I just messaged him in all caps. That was an accident. I am sorry, Alex. Okay, let me go read the. Let me pull up, pull up the YouTube's here, so I can actually read your chats. Oh my goodness. So uh, I see some people are upset. I'm not wearing the bucket hat. I'm so sorry. Uh, mm, M mm, played the game a long time ago, but won't spoil. I appreciate that. Uh, wow, lots of people have played. I see Sparky has not. Uh, while Zelda is saying no one spoil it. That's very nice. And hey, yeah, we won't tolerate spoilers in this stream today. We won't. Please chat amongst yourselves about things that are intense. But remember, uh, Nick Johnson, story games are all I play for the most part. Nice. And you haven't played this one. That's exciting. I'm glad that there are some people here that have not played this as well because it'll be nice to, to share this experience Ooh, and paul says yeah like alex maybe one of you guys can uh if, if alex or felix is here are here maybe they can make a mention in the discord huh advita says uh i probably advita advi i probably i'm gonna stop butchering your name i'm so sorry but they say favorite times of the week are when nintendo life streams Zian, I'm going to cry if you don't show us those Nintendo DS styluses. <laughs> That's right. I went to a convention recently and bought a lot of Nintendo DS styluses because uh, I'm insane. 
Uh, but that's that's life. Goodness. Goodness. Uh, Nick Johnson is also curious what snacks I would likely bring to the moon. <laughs> um, probably Dots candy. Uh, maybe some strawberries. And... Hmm. Hmm. Probably some chips. I feel like chips, like... I mean, they're so lightweight. But, yeah, probably, probably that. Um... I'm thinking snacks, though, you know, in specific. Like, I would love to say that pizza is a snack, but that really is a meal, isn't it? Oops. Ah, I think I figured out my problem. Yay! I figured out the thing. I just had the one layer underneath the other. Alex, we're all good. We're all good now. Yay! Now we can start playing the game. I'm so sorry, everyone. I'm, uh, I'm messaging Alex right now because he's very graciously trying to help me with a... Uh, uh with the issue oh poor guy bless him i appreciate him right now all right so are you all ready to go to the moon now we can we can successfully we can successfully make our way there okay i'm just gonna make sure that i have this running proper okay all right Lift off in three, two. Oh no, the ships! It's already left. Ooh, better with headphones on. Sure. Sounds good to me. I hope you all brought uh, Kleenex. Uh, today I have uh, puffs. They're called Puffs Ultra Softs, just in case. Hopefully I will not need them, but we'll see what happens, right? Direction buttons and left stick, character, and cursor movement. Oh, yeah, I did hear that this is a very story-heavy game and not really much for game stuff. Confirm the choice, interaction with people and items, return. Okay, simple. I can hang with that. Oh, people can't hear the game, really. Does the game need to be turned up? Oh, it's good now? Okay, cool. Thanks, Victini. I appreciate it. <laughs> Zeon streams better with headphones. Oh, there we go. There is a menu screen. What happened? I don't know. I didn't I didn't see that before. Maybe I hit a button. Uh Paul, Alex is not helping with the bucket hat issue. I don't even know where the bucket hat is right now. Currently. All right, y'all ready? This music is still very nice. I'm not really ready for this today, I don't think, but when whenever will I be, you know? You just got to you just, sometimes you just got to do stuff. It's like a car cr just crashed into the house. Act one. I've never told anyone, but I've always thought they were lighthouses. Yeah, that is... I have the physical edition of this game. I got it when I was at the Limited Run Game Store last year. And, the, I, yeah, like the cover has, as you can see in the, the thumbnail image, uh, it has a lighthouse. Soundsy on sound. Oh, no music right now. Really? That's so odd. Can you hear the game now? Let me know. <laughs> so sorry. So sorry, guys. I was focusing on the game. No game audio right now. Okay. Let me see. Can you hear it now? Let me know. Maybe I had it turned too low. That's so strange. But you can hear me. Hmm. One sec. Let's see. 
How about now? Let me know now once that comes through. <laughs> Can't hear too much of the game. Hmm. Then maybe I just need to crank the game audio. <laughs> hey, Craig, he's in the chat. That's so nice. Still no game audio. That's so bizarre. <laughs> Man, we're just troubleshooting all day over on the Nintendo Life streams. Give me um give me a sec here. I got one more idea. Oops. I think I have my audio splitting into two different places right now, into my monitor and into my capture card. So that might be the that might be the the cause. I don't know. Technology is weird. Yeah, the audio is set to both output right now and monitor and output. And it's very loud on my end. Like, I can see it. I could see the audio just dancing around. Ooh, you know, hmm. Now it's loud. Okay, I'm so sorry. We'll turn it down a little bit. Let me know. Thank you all. Thank you all for hanging. Thank you all for troubleshooting this very loud now. It's louder than me. Turn the game audio down. Keep it loud. Don't worry. It'll be, it'll be somewhat loud. So if I'm talking like this, I'm just going to rumble, ramble about something. Uh, so right now I'm screaming of Dr. Rosalind. And he said, where were you looking, Neil? Don't worry, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, maybe I'll narrate a bunch of stuff, I don't know if I will, but uh, can you hear me? Too loud, can't hear you, is what I currently see. The music slaps. Uh, game still too loud, okay, that's good. I'm glad we're getting all these bugs fixed now, rather than later. And next, next stream, next time I stream a video game, uh, we'll get these all squared away. I forget that the last time I streamed something was not, it was not a game. It was me just talking on camera, so it's a little different, I guess. Okay, Alex is giving me some advice here. <laughs> How about this? Does this seem good? Does this seem all right? Maybe this is a decent level. Maybe I'm, because I need to, I need to be above the game audio, right? But probably not too. Probably not too heavy. That's better. Getting closer. We need louder me. <laughs> uh, I can make my I can make myself louder. Sure. Is that better? Is this is this uh, where is this where we need to be? Cool. Dang, Alex is just a king right now. Coming in clutch. Okay. All right. There we go, game. Let's get those tears of the kingdom. <laughs> wow, that was the that was like the worst sound that ever came out of my mouth ever. Potentially. All right. For any of you just showing up now, we are just at the beginning of a game called To the Moon, as you can see in the the title for the the, the, the live stream. A car crash just happened. This car just crashed into the house. Well, excuse me for heroically evading that squirrel coming out of nowhere. I would do that. I would definitely dodge a squirrel. No, you ran it over anyways. No, they did? Oh my gosh. Oh my 
gosh, that sucks. So they crashed a company car, eh? More of a cat person. If anyone dis... Hmm, actually, you know, I'd be curious. I'd be curious if people want me to narrate this instead, or if they want me to just read it with the community. Or, or uh, read it with you. I don't have to narrate. But I would like to know what people want. Why does the world have to be so complicated? Fine, whatever. Furbally fancies. Crisis averted. Good. Go write that on your report later. Let's grab the equipment from the car and move already. Press A to interact with the car. Oh, okay. So I'm not actually moving. <laughs> Got the sucker. Let's roll. Press the plus button to open work diary. Okay. Okay. Lots of people say that they want narration. So I will do the narration. I'm no Felix, but I, I will do my best. Press ZL or ZR to switch between bookmarks. Okay. So we've got our, our items here. And then we've got some info about the game, the story. Cool. Oh, sweet. So now we can walk around. So Dr. Watts and was it Dr. Rosalyn? Rosalyn? Putting up, a, putting up a sign when they live in the middle of nowhere is like asking to be robbed. I suppose. Which way are we going? Are we going to the lighthouse? Oh, do we have to... <laughs> Why'd they lock the car? What a weird thing. Alright, where are we going? Loading. It's the moon! Did you see it? There, there it was! There's the moon! Just for a moment. Just for a moment. So I am playing, but I yeah, I don't know where we're going yet. This game is really pretty, though. The pixel art is very beautiful. Who put a boulder here? Maybe it's the security system. Cucumbers. We don't have time for this fluff. Let's try pushing it out of the way. Maybe we could find a tree branch to jack it with? Wait. Or we could just call it a night and blame it on that. Oh, you have choices. Oh my gosh. Uh, what do we want to do? Do we want to push it by hand, find a branch, or abort the mission and go home? The first th uh, three comments I read about one thing will be exactly what we do. Should we push it? Find a branch? Or abort? Push branch or abort? Oh, the game isn't find the moon, right? It's to the moon. Thank you. Thank you so much. Ooh, that would be sweet. Honestly, if there was like a little Pokemon in the background on the moon, that'd be very, very lovely. Okay, so abort, push, push is that. Okay, it's, we're pushing it. We're going to push it. We had three pushes. All right, on three. One, two, three. That was quite the push. Not a boulder. Is that Was that like a... I don't know if there's like alien life in this game or what, but we'll, we'll figure that out. We'll figure that thing out later. Right. What if it hits the car? So there's a work manual. Interesting. Let's see. Oh, okay. So it just talks about chapters. Select the unlock chapters to view details. Why does the world have to be some some complicated? Ah, sure. A squirrel darted out into the road and was crushed by Dr. Watts and Dr. Rosalind's car on the way to work, sending their car spinning into a tree by the road. That's like how Deadly Premonition starts as well. There's a squirrel that jumps out in front of your car. Does this game get spooky? Uh, I don't know, but if anyone wants to respond to that, I'm happy to, to learn. Um, I don't need to know exactly how it gets spooky, but if anyone knows, you can let us know. Uh, I will say that, yeah, your your feelings, it's, it seems like, are going could be shattered, so it depends on your definition of spooky. What do you find scary? 
<laughs> Maybe there will be more random things to, uh, to to push around in this game. We need to go in this house, though, too. Boop, 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 boop. I'm bummed they didn't do the da 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 knock that, like, every human ever knows how to do. Mama, they're here, said Tommy. Suspenseful game, not spooky. Okay, good. Not a bad place to retire at, huh? So I don't know, are these people supposed to be here? I could do better. Night shifts, love them or hate them. You know, you know the answer, you know the answer, you stupid owl. It's probably gonna be another all-nighter, you know. I know. And I doubt they'd have any coffee. Shut up. And the ocean waves will sing lullabies. Not through your blathering, they won't. And your eyelids will... Don't forget the equipment, moron. Oh, maybe they're, uh... Maybe they're gonna be researching the moon. I don't get paid enough for this. St stupid owl, owl. Isn't that like, um... I think I'm thinking of, like, uh, Silly Rabbit tricks are for kids. <laughs> Dr. Watts and Dr. Ros Rosalind, I presume? Thanks for coming on such a short notice. That's okay. I tend to be bad at predicting deaths as well. Oh, dang. That sucks. Are you the patient's daughter? No, I'm just his caretaker. Those kids sure are zippy. Uh... And these are my children, Sarah and Tommy. It's not exactly a nine to five job, so Johnny lets us live here. I suppose this Johnny is our man? Johnny? Listen, if it's a kid we're dealing with, I don't think we're the ones you want. No, 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 he just, be, he just prefers to be called that. He's upstairs right now with his medical doctor. Come with me. Just gonna leave the equipment in the doorway like that? Come on, <laughs> there we go. Come on, grab that case and let's go. When my back breaks one day, I'll sue you with the insurance claim. Received equipment. All right, let's head upstairs before I drop this. I kind of, shoot, I kind of wanted to look around, but there went that. There went that opportunity. Okay, they're gone. Whoever gets there first gets to play the melody. No fair, you pushed me. Did not. Whatever, you get the boring two notes anyway. Oh no. Yeah, if I, if I just move my head around, there are definitely Zelda things in the background that you can you can observe. Oh, hi, Mark. Will there be a chicken of truth? Mm, maybe. If we find a chicken. These kids are pretty good for their age. Hey, you're the one who said there was no time to waste. And incidentally, I'm the one who's carrying the weight of a small... I thought it said small Metroid. Meteoroid. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, come on. Oh, this person actually isn't dead yet? I thought they were. Uh, yeah, let's set the machine down. Yes, it'll just be a moment. Are you sure a common household power outlet is sufficient? No worries, we're the experts. I don't really like these two characters right now. They're kind of, kind of mean. Oh crap. Oh crap. Standard procedures, just keeping you on your toes. Wow. Oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> oh, hi, Johnny. I didn't know it was you. How's he doing? Not so well, if I were to say. He's just got a day or two left. That's plenty of time. 
So you two can grant him any wish, huh? To try, at least. But we always succeed because we're awesome. So what's the wish? The moon. The moon? The moon. He wants to go to the moon. The geezers just keep on getting crazier, huh? So, can you do it? It depends. She meant to say yes. Why don't you tell us about our client here? That I don't really know much. Johnny's an old, an odd man. Through the two years that I've worked here, he rarely spoke. He worked as a craftsman for most of his life, and his wife passed away two years ago. I don't really know many details. I would have known more if I were his paperboy for Pete's sake. Shush, just do your thing. Well, well, I suppose if you look around the house, you may find some more info. I suppose Johnny wouldn't mind since he signed for you two. Hmm, so be it. All right, which one of you plays detective? Uh, uh, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be Dr. Roslyn. Thanks for the offer, but I'm busy leaving a butt print on this chair. Right, right, do continue. My children can show you around. They're probably downstairs at the piano. All right, so I'm getting major uh, Eternal Sunshine of a Spotless Mind vibes from this game right now just because of this like machine that apparently is going to be able to allow this person some extra, not chance at life, but it sounds like it's going to be able to give them some opportunity that they didn't normally have. So we'll see what that ends up turning out to be. But section of readings from medical journals. Okay, so the magnifying glass signifies we can interact with something. Can't interact with the toilet. Big missed opportunity there. What a shame. <laughs> hey! Oh, my darling. Oh, my darling. Oh, my darling. Clementine. There are so many songs written about Eternal Sunshine that I'm a big fan of. Like, I have my theories that Taylor Swift has one. Uh, it's uh, Snow on the Beach. Uh, I, there's one of my favorite bands, Dayseeker, has a song. Uh, Bayside has a song called Montauk. Uh, Circa Survive has a song written about Eternal Sunshine as well. So good. Great movie. Great movie. <laughs> Who is it that said they had something to tell us? Maybe it was Watts? No. Ah, uh, it was you. Okay. Here, take this. Received patient monitor. That'll keep you updated on Johnny's status. Thanks. I was just going to ask for it. Heart monitor unlocked. <laughs> okay. Oh, so we actually have to go into the inventory to see the, uh, the heart monitor. Oh, so it just kind of like lets us, regardless of wherever we are, we can get a view of the patient. Oof, Mark, those, some of those bands are real good. Some of them I don't think you'd love, but I think Cir Circus Survives pretty. They can be chill. Maybe a little intense, too, but... Dayseekers, uh... I wish I... I wish I could remember what the song is called. How do I... I want to access the, the patient monitor. Maybe it just comes... Oh, there we go. It's in the log. Wait, are we already in chapter two? Wild. Okay. We'll just we'll just move on. Let's look at these paintings though. A painting of an animal of some sort. That looks like a penguin to me. A casual painting of three people. That's Celeste right there. A painting of a woman holding something yellow and blue. Yeah, definitely Celeste. Oh, and there's the lighthouse. A painting of a lighthouse by the cliffside.
never Taylor Swift. Psh, Mark, I was like that at one point, and then I listened to Taylor Swift's last uh, three albums, and it changed me. So hey, you never know. There's the moon again, the moon! The cheese moon. Um, I am, for the record, I am one of those people that will like investigate every single object in a game. And uh, if, if the majority of people get too annoyed with that, I can try to tone it back. But I just wanted to let you know <laughs> that that's, that's, the kind of, that's the kind of human I am. Or river. Whoa, did Johnny, is Johnny the, I'm gonna have to ask questions here, by the way, because I'm probably gonna forget things, but is Johnny the guy that is dying that we're gonna try to take to the moon? Does that, does that sound right? Because if so, then it, maybe he was the one, one that wrote this song. Hey, your ma told me to show, told you to show me around the house. Okay, maybe we will. May, maybe? And I think we just need a little convincing. That's all. What do you think, Tommy? What do you think? Yeah. Oh, oh, what would you like? We want one trillion dollars. Or the candy cane mom hides from us. Yeah, or that. Huh? There's a giant candy cane on top of a high shelf that we just can't reach. It's in the kitchen. Ma put it there to save for us when we were done with chores. Get it for us and we'll give you a tour through the house. What do you say? Well, my mother used to keep candies on high shelves too. All right, I'll go get it. The kitchen door is right next to the stairs. Now go. There's that candy kitten. <laughs> there it is. I hope it's like still wrapped. It seems like I need some help to get this down. Well, um, I guess a, a chair? <laughs> Let's see, you think a chair will do it? No, a chair is not the move. Oh, unless it's maybe to push from this side? No. What are we gonna use? Oh, okay, we turned the light on. Was that crucial? Huh, is this a, this looks like a sink over here. Oh, okay, it was that easy. I didn't see, um, maybe there was a, a symbol up there, but I didn't notice it. We got the candy cane. Terrible calories. Yeah, these people are so grumpy. Both the doctors are. Uh, Flip Flops in the, in the chat asks what Taylor Swift album I would recommend first. Either Evermore or Folklore. I think those, both of those albums just like informed me that Taylor Swift is not just like a pop country artist. She's not these days, but I think those are the uh, those are the two that I would I would go for. Midnight's is really fun too. It's it's very different though. Okay, I got what you wanted. Good ol'. If you come and give me a tour at this instant, I won't sneeze on it. See, they have a good sense of humor. The doctors do. They're just such brats. Okay, where do we start? I know. There's this funny room in the basement. I don't like that funny room. Yeah, we had a funny room in the basement when I when I was a kid too. And uh I hated it. It was horrifying. It was like a unfinished like cellar style basement. Ugh. What do you mean by funny? You'll see. It's weird. We need to get the keys though. The old man hid it inside a book in the study. Okay. Is the study upstairs? Oh, okay. Uh Craig from Pure Xbox is asking how long I've had this game on my radar. Ah, uh, probably, probably two years, I would say. Those kids are very good at the piano for some reason. I shouldn't be surprised at the fact they are, but oh, this is the bathroom. We need to go to the study. Whoops. Whoopsies. I don't have a basement anymore, but uh, when I lived in Wisconsin, we did. When I was a when I was a little kid, we had a basement. Oh, so is the study in the basement as well? Okay, that door's locked. I'm 
Okay, this is definitely not the study. This is just the China. Um, maybe it's this way? Oh no, that's the bathroom. Whoops. Whoopsies. You know that little character that pops out of the, like, the side of the screen in Mortal Kombat? That, like, real guy? And he says, like, he says, like, toasty? I used to always think he said whoopsies. And, uh, I was wrong. Oh, I see. The study is, maybe this is the study down here. Nope. I think the study was to the right. Because I saw some books. Is this the study? Are those the books? Didn't they say they keep them in a book? Where is the study? If anyone knows where the study is, <laughs> let me know. Uh, make sure you let me know in the comments down below where you think the study is. And, uh, oh, maybe this is the study. The study! It's here! This is the book room. The key to the funny room is in the thickest book on the upper shelf. Just a bunch of books in here. They've nothing They've nothing I don't know about though. Kids. Tommy used to throw books at me and call it a book fight until one day I threw him back and he needed a band-aid. <laughs> ah, kids. Kids, kids. Emperor's new clothes? The tale of a girl who fell in love with a zombie who emitted the smell of daisies when showered with gentle sunlight. Uh, what is that book called again? Oh, that, that was the, the key, though. Was that like a, a riff on Twilight? It's a riff on Twilight called Dusklight. Oh, that's funny. It's cute. I love it when games make real-world parodies like that. It can be sometimes like a bit, a bit, uh, illusion. Like, it can break the illusion, but I, I dig it. All right, let's go check out the basement. This is now Attack on Titan. We found the key to the basement. Now let's get down there. We can open the funny room in the basement now. Yeah, yeah, Sarah. Hashtag book fight. Yes. I've never heard of a book fight, but it does sound painful and wasteful. All those books just getting spined. Their, their, their spines ripped off. This is the basement. We play hide and seek here. Turn on the lights before you trip over something. Oh, that is kind of a fun little detail that you have to turn on the lights to see stuff. No way! What? A dusty pile of Animorphs books? How did they get that in there? That's funny. I wonder who owns the rights to Animorphs these days. Like, is that... Is that a real thing? Or is, like, is it still... Does it still get made? Are kids stoked for scholastic book fairs with uh because of uh animorphs books it's like a cave in here oh no whoever said this game doesn't get scary uh i feel like they were slightly a little off can you hear that music right now it's very haunting Okay, we took the toy platypus. There's a broken music box. Can I turn the light on? Okay, good. Oh, is, are those all origami bunnies? Do the kids want some? Did that light just turn off by itself? Oh, I think... Oh, I can just turn it on from that far away. Whew. Okay. All right, nothing else to see here. That's good. All right, let's get out of here. I don't like it. That is a lot of bunnies. Did you see it? What do you two know about all those rabbits? Nothing. The old man didn't want anyone to go inside, so we never told him. There are more of them, actually. Are they... Are the rabbits, like... Inside the abandoned lighthouse. It's just beneath this cliff. Want to go see? I got the keys. You aren't supposed to go there either, are you? Hehe, <laughs> remind me to never take you to Neil's house. So you want to go see the lighthouse? Well, it's rather cold outside, but... 
yeah, you know what? Fine. Maybe it'll tell me more about those rabbits. <laughs> Why do we need to learn about the rabbits? Let's go check that old lighthouse out. Oh, is it? The game wants me to remember things, eh? Okay, okay. The music suddenly got, like, kind of scary. A little spooky. A hello, bird. We don't have a map in our inventory either, right? I don't think. Oh, there we go. Uh, follow the path at the foot of the mountain to the lighthouse. Maybe this path is the path that we just need to continue taking? I can't believe I'm just taking these kids out here. No big deal. Oh, that was easy, though. There it is. There it is! We need to head south to the street and take the other path to get down to it, though. Yeah, I forgot my parachute. <laughs> what? Crazy kids. Okay, so we need to go back down. I feel like I'm probably going to get lost. But we'll see what happens. The walk animation in this game is very odd, by the way. If anyone notices that like it just feels like I'm making like very jerky movements, it's just kind of it's just weird. It's like on a on a grid. You can't really walk like diagonally. All right, let's go this way. Yes. Okay, so it wants us to go back to the road, I think is what it was saying, right? Or is that what someone in the chat was saying there? Yo, I would love to do an inscription stream because I've never like I've never played inscription yet and it's one of those games that I still have not uh, I don't know anything about it and that's kind of what I really liked about the idea of doing this to the moon stream was it's like a shorter game we could all play this together and see it through maybe some people that have played it before can come in and hang out and uh, yeah I would love to do an inscription stream if I should write that down it's here huh My novelty beach ball. I thought I lost it. What? That's a beach ball? Okay, that makes a lot more sense. It was stupid anyway. Oh, I'll never lose it again. I'm going to hide it. Don't look. There's no time to waste. Tommy. Okay, done. Okay, let's just hurry. Okay, let's just hurry to that lighthouse. Oh, maybe I have to go out down here. Yep, there we go. There is a clear entrance. Hey, Jeff. No, don't don't worry. You're not tardy. You can't be tardy to a stream. It's okay. Come hang. Who's the dummy that crashed a car? <laughs> not me. It's pretty dark out. Aren't you kids scared? Of course not. We role play it away. What? Tommy's a super powerful knight, and I'm a mighty magician. Yeah, we destroy all evil. Oh, that's uh, that's that's nice. Do you do you role play too? I uh, no. She's not cool enough to do it. Hey, I could if I wanted to. Just you children watch. Oh, shoot. She is going to, like, pretend she's some, like, fantasy person at some point here. Oh, and Alex is dipping out? That's all right, man. Thanks for hanging out with the stream. Thanks for making sure it all was up and running okay. I appreciate it. I like that the lighthouse, like, kind of puts itself together in the loading screen. That's kind of fun. Oh, a little, little squirrel? Wait, did the squirrel survive? Ooh, a squirrel! <laughs> Oh no, it's a terrible squirrel gone. What? Why did this just suddenly sound like a turn-based JRPG? Like, don't worry children, I'll protect you. That's great. What is happening? Are you serious? Oh shoot, I don't, I, mm, shoot. We'll attack with the shoot. 
Your uh, time is at an end, Squirrel Gone. <laughs> Hiya! Stop it, or we'll tell Ma your animal abuse. Yeah, she's calling the cops on you. What? I was just, I wasn't gonna, I wasn't actually gonna, didn't you say you liked role-playing? Oh, I should have picked, like, the meteor option instead or something. That was great. That was very precious. You should be ashamed of yourself. Let's name it Teddy. Okie. The squirrel's name is Teddy. <laughs> Let's just forget this happened. <laughs> uh, I hope more, like, ridiculously weird moments like that happen throughout this game. That was fun. I just recently played uh, Tokimeki Memorial, which is a, a, a dating sim for the... I played the Super Famicom version, and there is, like, a JRPG, uh, like, a turn-based battle that happens in there, and it was... It really caught me off guard. Oh, Felix! Nice! Felix is at the gym? Awesome, dude. That sounds like something I need to go do soon. In memory of River E. Wiles. Yeah, so I think I think that was the last name that we saw on the on the sheet music that the kids were playing. I think it was Johnny Wiles. And so River, that would make sense. River is River passed away recently, if that's Johnny's wife. And she's buried here. <laughs> oh my gosh! They are here. That's so weird. This is it. Hmm. We can walk around now. Hey, this wasn't here when we came last week. Oh, yeah. Johnny must have came here before he fell ill again. This is the only one with two colors, huh? You know, these things actually look pretty hard to fold. Okay, so it is origami. Kind of an odd hobby, though. Oh, that's my phone. It's Watts. Is everything ready? All right, I'll be right there. Why do you have a creepy ringtone? Because it scares the monsters away, duh. Come on, let's head back. Received the paper rabbit. Oh, the rabbit in Moon. I still have never played Moon, but I did pre-order the limited run physical copy. I had the digital on my like wish list forever, but then when they announced that, I was like, okay, all right. So I will, I will have Moon eventually. Oh, why don't you be late by another hour and a half? Not like we have a dying client or anything. I got caught up in something. I got caught up in something too. It's called our job. Wow. Get off your high horse. I'm late. Just this one time and you milk it. At least tell me we're good to go. Of course we are, because I'm competent. This is painful. They're so, like, they just bicker with each other. Your helmet's on the couch. Get it on. We're going in. Oh, wow, look at Johnny's got, like, some device on his face. That's pretty horrifying. Uh, okay, on the couch? Is that what they said? Where's the couch? It's probably maybe it's down. Maybe it's down south. Down here? Oh, the rabbit in the moon, the children's story. I don't think I've ever heard that before, actually. And this is the bathroom. Whoops. Hey, thanks, Nick. Uh, I'm I'm looking forward to whatever this stream turns into. Even though I am nervous about it, but it'll be fine, right? It'll be fine, they say. Oh, is this the couch? This is the couch? Okay. That's the couch. Start working. Uh, I'm going to see. Can I talk to these people at all? By the way, I'm curious. How does it work? Do you just write him another life like a novel? I'm curious to hear. No, we can't just make up new memories out of thin air. Then how do you do it? It's mainly the machine that does the doing. Naturally, since we aren't paid enough to get our hands dirty. In a nutshell, our job is to travel through his memories to as early as possible. And when we do, 
we would then transfer his registered desire of going to the moon. To the reconstruction of the world and himself at that early state, and with the help of a wiki of data and his own, the machine would run or would, would then simulate a rerun. Except this time, he'll have the motivation of his registered desire with him all his life. So you'd be depending on him fulfilling his own wish by simply having the desire to? How could that be? Everyone has ambition for things, but most don't accomplish them. That's because in the real world, ambitions fluctuate and fade. That's very true, very true. People start things with a passion, but eventually they lose that initial drive and slow down. But imagine if you locked onto that initial push through your entire life, never wavering. It's more powerful than it seems. That being said, no ambition's gonna help a dead man, so we'd better get started. Yeah, yeah, I don't think we need to talk to this doctor. Yeah, okay. I can push buttons on the keyboard, it sounds like. If I push enough, we'll blow up the machine. Ah! Maybe not. All right, initiate. Initiate the brain linkage sequence. All right, here we go. Yeah, this is very Eternal Sunshine. Also, uh, for anyone who's just tuning in, by the way, uh, we're following these two doctors, Watts and Rosalind, who came to this place where this man named Johnny is dying and it sounds like we're going, we're basically going to change his, I don't know if we're changing his memories actually, or if we're just like giving him a dream that he can participate in. I don't really know. Oh my gosh. But they're like selecting. Okay. This should be the last accessible memory. Disable speech for all except Johnny. Done. Let's get in. This is so weird. Ah, okay. Eternal Sunshine is a movie starring Jim Carrey, and I'm blanking on the other actor's name. But it's great. Very sad. It, uh, I don't want to say it'll mess you up, but it's a, it's a, yeah. Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind is a very, it's a very sad but good film. Oh, weird. No paintings on the walls. That's kind of creepy. How like parts of the world are like blocked off, almost like like the brain has forgotten about them. And I don't think that that probably isn't the case. Maybe it will be. I don't know. Okay, see, look, I'm really struggling to go downstairs right now. <laughs> so the house is the same for now. It looks like all the rooms over there are kind of blocked off, too. Even this one. I think this was the, the room where we found the key. Or maybe it wasn't. Regardless. Ah, Kate Winslet. Yes. Yeah, they both crushed their performances in that. There are a few other actors in there that I was surprised to see, too, that I can't remember off the top of my head. But, yeah, very good movie. Very good. Let's just go up to the lighthouse, I guess. Oh, okay. And this was a good... This was a good... A uh, good place to go. Johnny? Oh, so we can actually talk to him in this world. What a pleasant surprise. We don't get many visitors around here. My name is Dr. Ava Roslin, and this is Dr. Lorenzo von Matterhorn. <clears throat> yes, it is I, Matterhorn, Dr. Neil Watts. Are you familiar with the Sigmund Agency of Life Generation? Oh, are you two from the agency? My old man voice is going to fluctuate very heavily here, by the way. <laughs> How convenient. I've just been thinking of calling you. Lily, get us some tea, please. Lily? Actually, you've already called us. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. All right. <laughs> we're here to fulfill our contract from the relative future. Careful there. If you slip off the cliff, we're going to have to reload this memory. Watch it, Neil. Show some respect. Eh, it's just a program, you know. I know, but this is his last accessible memory, and he, we need its cooperation. Worst comes to worst, we can just reboot it. Why would you waste time like that? You. 
You are here to take me to the moon, aren't you? Oh my god. God, I'm not like I'm gonna like lose it. I think I think I just I think so much I'm like so empathetic that I just like I don't know. I think about the future a lot, so. I suppose I had a good run. Not good enough, it seems. Oh my god, why would you say that? Watts is such a jerk! Oh god. So can you do it? Can you take me to the moon? We can't, but you might be able to. <laughs> why do you why do you want to go there? I don't know. It's fine. You can tell us it's essential for helping us to you to, for helping us to get you there. Why do you want the fame? Why do you want the fame? Why do you want the fame? The money? You've got to have a motive. I'm sorry, but I really don't know. It's like he, he forgot. I just do. I can already tell that this is going to be a pain. Nevertheless, Johnny, here's what we'll do. We need to get to your childhood, but it's too distant to do so in one memory hop. Thus, we need to transfer through your memories with gradual backward leaps, which you've given us the permission to do in the relative future. Once we lay down the waypoints in your childhood memories for direct access, we'll return here. That's when you'll need to help us influence the childhood you to become an astronaut or to get on a giant catapult. Uh, okay, okay. That this is a cool idea. I, I dig this actually. Now, like, it's not just about like going back and and you know like it's about really like trying to change this person's life. You know, that's a weird thing though. It's really weird. The point is, you'll need to have more to say than just I don't know. As long as you can take me to the moon, as long as you can take me to the moon, I'll cooperate in any way possible. Good. God, uh, I'm already like ruminating on like the idea that like. They're going to take Johnny to the moon and then Johnny's going to like forget about the love of his life or something or like some crap like that that I'm not ready. I'm not prepared for. We need an item that is of, of importance to you. Do you have a memento of some sort to get us started? Well, oh, it's the bunny. Well, shall we? Ladies first. What an old saying. We'll need to prepare this memento first. What? <laughs> Tap the orb to ro rotate. Quickly finish the puzzle. Uh, what? What am I? Oh, okay. I, I, I see. Okay, cool. That makes sense. <laughs> if he goes to the moon, Marty McFly will see cease to exist, says Paul. That makes sense, Vic. I do think that, yeah, like Johnny, for some reason Johnny wants to go, right? He, he doesn't know why, but it's, it's his, it's his goal. I, I think it's fair to have that. It's, it's fair to have a, a goal in life. Like you, you, we, we need that as people. We'll try not to violate what we can avoid, but in most cases it can't be helped. <laughs> Picross? Yeah, that, that did feel a bit like. A bit like some kind of puzzle like that. Zick says the reverse timeline storytelling is not new, but the game does it brilliantly. Remember the dialogue. Okay, I will. The dialogue is like already hitting me because I think I'm like, I'm fabricating things in my head about like what could potentially happen. And that's like, that's messing me up in like weird ways, but turn off visibility and interactivity. It'd be messy to be seen. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So it's interesting. They're like hovering in this world and they're going to like tamper with it in a way, or they're just observing things. I, I'm definitely forgetting things as we play. <laughs> Jeez. I forgot to ask about all these rabbits. We'll have a chance. Oh, there's the, uh, the platypus. What the, did he hear me? That's impossible. It's probably just a part of his, this memory.
Then I stand by my point. Anyway, quit, quit blabbering and find a memento here to hop from. That platypus feels... Interact with five objects to establish a memento link. Okay, okay, cool. Okay. Multicolored paper rabbit. Well, aren't you special? Having two colors when all your siblings look like they drowned in bleach. What's that? You think you're really creepy? Why, yes, I agree. But we've already seen that one before, right? Okay, can't interact with the light. Dramatic piano, yeah. Yeah, by the way, we do have a Nintendo Life Discord now, by the way. Plus side, Zian can always rewind the... Oh, and check the dialogue. I see. I thought you were telling me, Vic, that I could rewind the game. Or, oh, that was Paul that said that, actually. Okay, the clock is moving, but soundless. Okay, so we have, we have a memento there. Oh, the umbrella. That has to be one. You need to link mementos in order to shoot them. Huh. So, let's see. What happens? Clock is moving. Okay, so I have that. It's weird that it's, like, covered in an orb now. Yeah, the overlay on this, over this, like, these scenes is, is neat, too. It's not like, it's not distracting. Oh, Johnny just disappeared. Oh, okay, he's like, he's teleporting. Is that a jar of pickles? A glass, oh, pickled olives. Ugh, I hate this, I hate this stuff. What's the hate? It's pickled olives. Exactly. When I was a kid, my, uh, an old and patched up backpack, uh, my, uh, a relative of mine tried to force me to eat olives at a wedding and uh, I hate olives and they tried to like tell me that they were like grapes or something like that and so I ate it anyways and I was very mad and I, I don't I will not eat olives now what that what's that I guess we'll find out uh, okay the Emperor's New Clothes by Hans Christian. Is it Hans? Hans Christian Andersen? Hans Christian? I wonder if we can speak to Johnny before interacting with those flowers. Don't. If we have to explain our presence to him at every memory, I'd go crazy. Don't tempt me. Okay. Is that all of them then? It looks fully lit up and activated down there. I think the gray one. Oh, maybe we didn't get the gray one actually then, because there was there's supposed to be like a little shiny orb in the corner there. I think. So I think I missed that one. I think I missed one. I wonder oh maybe Okay. Oh, so we dropped them all. Ah! Haroken! Wow, did he really just do that? What the f was that? What? That's it. I'm done breaking from now on. Or I'm doing the breaking from now on. I see. Okay, so we have our memento. Oh. Shoot. Hey! Okay, good. It was easy. Good deal. Good deal. Oh, I've been... To oh, hey, Zach. I've been to Olive Garden. I just, uh, it's different. They don't force you to eat olives there, thankfully. It's been a long time since we've been to Olive Garden, though. I won't, I won't lie. It's a good thing. It's so expensive. So pricey. That's cool. We have our, our little, our selection of items. Okay, so from here, I'm not really sure what to do. Because we have... I think we have everything tossed in the in the umbrella. A activate memento. Ah, there we go. Okay. <laughs> Pick cross two electric boogaloo. The splat umbrella. Oh, oh man. Okay. Well, this makes sense. This is sad, but this makes sense. 
So that was River's Grave, I believe, was her name. When it comes to rain, it's better than on to... Uh, I don't mind it regardless. Seems like these memory hops only span a short period of time. We need to find a leaping memento, or it's going to take forever. Nah, just enjoy the scenery. Yeah, they're such grumps. Okay, so now we need to walk around and find some mementos. Or me memories? I can't remember what the orbs technically are called that we're collecting, but... Oh, an old stuffed toy platypus. That had two. Wow. Is that enough? Maybe I can dump those straight into the machine, or in the into the door now. Oh, okay, cool. Yo, Luke, I hope Punch-Out Pizzeria happens. Gosh, that'd be a really cool Super Nintendo World uh, exhibit. Or not exhibit, but like a attraction. Like you, I'll be here. I'll be able to watch over her every day. She won't be alone anymore. Ah, oh, the platypus. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder if that was like in Rivers, like hospital or before she died. I might never understand why, but I stayed true to your wish. I'm sure Anya is grateful to you too. But when I'm gone, who is going to watch over us? Who are you? My name is Ava. I was just passing by. Was she your wife? Yes, her name was River. That's a special name. It didn't need to happen. Hmm. She, she didn't need to do it. Oh, God. Okay. But she, you wouldn't understand. I don't even understand. Yeah, yeah, Ava, just disappear for now. Ava Rosalind? <laughs> I hope we get a Punch-Out Pizzeria. Please. The Super Nintendo World uh, uh, Toadstool Cafe, which I kept calling the Mushroom Cafe forever, uh, did not have pizza on the menu. And I think a Punch-Out Pizzeria would just, ah, that would be great. That'd be so good. All right, received a note. Oh, can we look at that right now, actually? Oh, cool. Okay. The moon is Johnny... In, the moon in Johnny's memory is full. The clock in Johnny's house never ticks. Someone Johnny and River cared for. Anya. Ah, okay, okay. So this is like our journal of keeping... Keeping things uh, for... Uh, it's, it's our notebook for uh, about Johnny, it seems like. How much did you get Zia to eat olives? Nothing. No super chat. I don't even have olives in this house, so I'll, I'll, I'll pretend. Ooh, look, an olive. Good, I've, I've done it. There we go. About time you got here. I almost thought you fell off the chair or off the cliff. What were you doing? Enjoying the scenery. What else? Any luck here? Big luck. Huge. Dinosauric. Huh. This place looks pretty empty. It's a lighthouse. What do you expect? Anyway, I'll catch you on the other side. Have fun re-breaking the barrier for yourself. It's interesting to see the platypus just chilling here. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh, right. We're in the... Right, duh, we're in the lighthouse now. There's the fourth one. Or the, the fifth one. Alright, platypus, get out of your monkey ball barrier! Very interesting that we can kind of just, like, hover. We can stay in this space. Like how it says, like, are you, are you ready to go on, basically? Yes. Best shows the... Fewest steps used to complete fragments. Ah, okay. So we can do it in three, apparently. Interesting. Hey, cool! Paul, 
Paul, no, no, don't try to, don't try to make me go buy some olives. No, 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 mister. I'm not getting any olives. No, no, no. <laughs> you go buy yourself some olives. Tell you what, in person, maybe I'll, I'll eat some olives with you. Ah, oh, why does everyone want me to? Ugh. Why do why do you do that? Why do would people reveal their weaknesses? People just latch onto them. Just enough, says John. <laughs> just enough. It's, it's probably River. After we pay for your operation, we'll have just enough left for it. So don't you worry. White lie. White lie. That's what you call it, right? No, I'm sure we can. Just stop it. I don't like it when you lie. I calculated our finances. I know how it's like. Why do you try to convince me against my will? We need the money for your medical bills, River. I understand that Anya means a lot to you, but this is this is just too much. I mean, she's, she isn't even. Do you know what makes me happy, Johnny? What? What? Do you? Well, I do. I just, I hope you can help me with it. River. It's really hard to narrate, like, when reading this, like, emotional stuff. I'm not against it. I just, I'm just taking a moment. When the papers for my treatment get here, I will not sign them. What you do with our money is up to you. But if you would grant my wish, I want you to use it to finish building that house. And then for every day that you live there... God, like, ugh, games, games! And then for every day that you live there, I want you to watch over her, visit her, speak to her, comfort her. I don't want her to be alone anymore. And, and, and what about you? Happy. I'll be happy. Someone get me some olives. I'll eat them right now. <laughs> Johnny. Yeah, yes, yes. I made this. Tell me what it is. What? Just tell me what it is. It's a rabbit, like all the others you've made. What else? What else? Um, it's... It's made of paper. What else? Its body is yellow and the rest is blue. Good. What else? Look, River... I wrote a song. It's for you. Okay. Well, would you like to hear it? Yeah. Yes. You didn't have to bring the piano in here for this. I can hear you just fine with the door open. Why did I think this was a good idea for a stream? <laughs> I just want to go like, like I feel like nothing even bad has happened yet. I think that's what's freaking me out the most is like, I'm already like a slippery mess. It's called Four River. Why so cliche? It's, it's just a placeholder. So now we know that the house is scattered in rabbits because River made them for one reason or another. Uh, maybe Johnny eventually started making them himself. We don't know. But who is this Anya they were talking about? If she's so important, shouldn't we have seen her in the his last m memories? His late memories? I guess he didn't keep that promise after all. Unless. Unless what? Never mind. Hey, that's the same song the kids were playing earlier, huh? 
I guess he taught them. You know what? I'm too manly for this. <laughs> I'm heading out. I already got my memory links. You want to hitch a quick ride or look around yourself? Uh, yeah, I'll stay and explore. This seems like the right thing. Go on ahead. I'll catch up with you. Okay. Uh, don't you miss the days when memory audio to MP8 conversion was legal? <laughs> MP8. Ugh. I think I brought home over 2,000 songs during my first year on this job. I like the little, like, the little things that they've, like, sprinkled throughout the game so far to, like, keep it fun. Mm, okay, okay. So this was the good idea to stay behind. And maybe, honestly, maybe we would have stayed behind regardless of what we chose. Received a note. Paper rabbit. Oh, wow. I didn't realize we could leave this room. <laughs> oh, uh, here's Johnny again. I'm telling you, there's just no way. What if we what if we take it apart? Look at us, John. We aren't exactly at the ripe age of piano moving. You know what? If this means that much to you, I'll pay for the professionals to do this. I can't help saving that house for you, so this is the least I can do. I feel like, I don't know if you can hear it, but I feel like there's a heartbeat. Yeah, there totally is a heartbeat. Oh shoot, maybe I was supposed to check the stove. Oh, but we have all of the we have all of these uh mementos, the memories. If anyone knows what those orbs are called specifically, I would love to know because I I can't I can't remember for some reason. <laughs> okay. Oh, and there we go, these flowers. That's where we're supposed to throw them all into. Okay. So I don't entirely understand this puzzle. Oh, I guess it flips. Oh yeah, I did bad. Okay. Hmm, I'm making this a slippery mess here. Oh, these are tricky. I, I've definitely, uh, okay, let's try it again. Hmm. So I get it, I think, in the sense that, like, the ones that you... Oh, boy. Please don't tell me I'm going to get, like, majorly stuck on all of these. <laughs> okay, well, that's good. If I can... If I can make them all disappear, that'd be cool, right? I feel like I'm just, like, pushing things a little bit. Oh, wait. Yeah! It only took me 19 or 33 or whatever. Oh, there we go. Okay. We're preparing it. We're preparing it. Ah, core memories. Memory links. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for hanging out and just being so helpful with this chat or with this with this game. Finally. Oh, and there, there it is. What? Yeah, that looks like that's the flower, right? <laughs> to the Moon takes about four to four and a half hours to play. I know. <laughs> At least according to the, the howlongtobeat.com, I'm, I'm strapping in for it. Oh, is this like an unfinished 
I bet they saw this cliff and thought it was not dangerous enough without people living on it. Oh, and this is the house. What? So Johnny built the house for Anya? Is that? Well, no, because that's, that's where they were. Hmm. I guess we'll find out. Nick called and said I should come. Oh, is that just like a memory, though? Because that person looks kind of... They look very zombie-ish. Isabella is their name. I brought you picked olives. They're your favorite, right? I heard about River. Will she be okay? Her illness was just diagnosed in its late stage. Fortunately, it's treatable. But the medical bills... Oh, right, that house that we were just in where we saw... Right, okay, okay, I understand now. The house we were just in where we met River was not this house. We can't afford to finish building this house, Isabel. We can barely afford to pay for her treatment. I'm just relieved that she'll be okay, but you don't know how much this place means to her. She's going to be heartbroken. I'd help, but Ted and I have been barely getting by since that market crashed. What are you going to do now? I'm, I'm going to tell her that we can make it. I'm going to tell her that we can afford everything. I don't want her to do anything crazy. You shouldn't lie to her. You don't understand, Isabel. Oh, it is all the same house. Okay. If she found out, I'm not sure which she'd choose. So what? If she chooses not to save herself for the sake of this place, then so be it. It's what she really wants. I really dislike when you neurotypicals think you know what's best for others. I hate when you call me that, Izzy. Do you think this is all about her? What about me, Isabel? After all these years, am I not allowed to be selfish even once? I don't want to be alone, Isabel. I'm not going to let her die. That's arrogant. I don't care. Where are you going? I'm going to pick something from this cliff to bring back to her. It's, it'll at least give her some comfort. That doesn't make what you're doing any less wrong. Nick wanted me to give you this. He said it's called Everything's All Right. It isn't. <laughs> yeah, it's very real. It's, it's, it's a lot. This game is a lot so far, but not in a, I'm not in a way that I'm upset about it. It's just, uh, yeah. I think maybe I was expecting the game to be like, uh, not a slow burn sad. Maybe just like a hit you in the face, you know, at once. And that's the thing is like, it's just, um, yeah. Yeah, the game's just like, it's been like, I've been in a boxing ring. We've all been. We've all been in a boxing ring with it. And it's just like very lightly, just like punching us in the stomach. Not the face. But eventually, eventually it probably will. Hmm, maybe we can talk to Isabel. We only have two of the orbs so far. Let's keep looking. Okay, nothing else in the house here. I'm going to need happy things for the rest of the day after this stream. Uh, yeah, that's a very good point. Th thankfully, uh, I, I don't have anything else planned yet for the day, which is nice, because that means I can pivot and do whatever I want, which is good. So, Which, I mean, this is also what I want. I chose this stream. Nobody said, hey, Zeon, you should do a To the Moon stream. I was like, yeah, that, that sounds fun. 
Oh, I probably will cry. I've like already been like fighting back everything. Thankfully, right now, this moment, I'm okay. I'm all right here. Uh, I guess I can just go throw these three at the at the the memento. Haroken, as the as um, oh, I'm blanking on his name right now, as the guy said earlier. Max, maybe. Oh, okay. That was easy. Click the button. Oh no. I mean, honestly, like anybody who hangs out and watches this stream, I, I, I don't, I don't see how you can't get a little like messy yourself if, uh, <laughs> if, uh, if we really stick through this to the end, you know? Okay, okay. Let's see how. Um, <laughs> so I like the idea that we're supposed to kind of. Uh, how can people do these in three? That's crazy. Okay, I'm going to restart. I'm just going to really observe it for a moment. Um, okay, so we can make... Oh, we can make a line here. Oh, almost. Almost a full line. Ah, oh, dang it. It was almost perfect. Oh! Cool. Sweet. There we go. Staples buttons? Yeah. Note. Olives. Oh, yeah, yeah. So we know he likes olives, right? <laughs> the olives are back. Oh, no. Not the olives. Oh, okay. So you guys are really going for it, huh? Yep, the construction's starting in just a few months. It's a bit of a squeeze. We had to split the payment, but with financing, we'll make do. How wonderful having your dream house built at such a beautiful site. You had your wedding at the lighthouse near there all those years ago, didn't you? That's not, that's not all that's, that's not all that's special about it. We have a long history with that place. Well, it's good to have some good news at a get-together for once. Cheers and congratulations, you two. Hey, cheers. Be right back. I'm going to go get some fresh air. Me too. Mm, nice. 25% through. And for uh, Sar in the in the chat there, yeah. So we are basically, we're yeah we're reliving the memories of of Johnny, or we're, we're going back through and seeing his memories, and then we're trying to kind of learn more about him and then alter them. I believe I could be wrong, but anybody in the chat can be much more specific about it. Um, please do. Well, buddy, it's sure been a while, hasn't it? Who knew how hard it is to get across a few cities nowadays? That river still so quiet, huh? Ugh, she's actually been talkative at home and with Ezwell. I guess she's just not used to you. <laughs> so I'm the bad guy here, huh? Oh, hey, did you tell River that thing from back then? I did. So how did she take it? For the most part, she took it well. But something bugs me. Ever since the incident, she's been making these strange rabbits out of paper. Origami rabbits? Yeah, lots of them. Huh, I used to fold origami animals for my daughter all the time. What's wrong with that? I don't think it's the same thing. She's been doing nothing but making the same rabbits day in and day out. Our house is literally filled with them now. Didn't Isabel say that something like this is a common trait with River's condition? Yeah, but something doesn't feel right this time. When I ask her about it, she never answers. Instead, she gets this dis distant look in her eyes. It's almost as if she wants something from me. And the strange thing is, I feel like there's something I owe her, too. Have you ever asked Isabel? 
Yes, she said she talked to her about it, but got nothing. Well, I'm certainly not one to inquire, but I'll tell you this. I've known you since middle school, and you're so notorious for overthinking. You're probably just imagining things. There's no need to get too worried up, too worked up. Usually when someone says that, something's always wrong. But I'll give you the benefit of doubt. You're probably right. Probably. I'm always right, John. Hmm. Wait, so even he himself never knew what was up with those rabbits? Forget about the stupid rabbits. We've got bigger problems. It's a confined memory, and there's no mementos anywhere. Don't worry. We can probably draw one out of him. How? Leave it to me. I just got to give the bartender a quick visit first. Oh, do we get to play as Watts now? We do. Huh. Watts is the this doctor, and the other one to our left here is Rosalind. Or Rosalind? Rosalind? Hmm. Hurry up already. I don't want to be stuck here. Hey there. Could I get you anything? Hey, uh, can I get a bottle of pickled olives, please? Sure. <laughs> what? Sure, cash or credit? Check. Uh, I'm sorry, we don't take checks? Oh, just put it on my tab then. Wait, does that mean you don't have any money? You're so getting resetted. <laughs> hey there, could I get you anything? Hey, uh, could I get a bottle of pickled olives, please? Sure, cash or credit? Just put it on my tab. I feel like spending big today. Oh, thank you, sir. Here's your pickled olives. Thanks, bro. You'll be getting an enormous amount of tips today. <laughs> thank you, sir. You're such an... I don't know if I can say that on stream, so you're such a butt, Neil. Oh, loosen up. Oh, hey, that was one of the... One of the... Uh, one of the orbs. I'm just going to keep calling that. Hurry up already. I don't want to be stuck here. There's the olives. Why is that a... Why is... Why is that a bottle with pickled olives you're sporting? Yeah. Are you a fellow olive lover? Indeed I am. I just got a fresh bottle of them myself, in fact. Mind if I join you? Sure. Why don't you grab a seat? We'll down a bottle together. <laughs> oh, yeah. That sounds just swell. Ava, disable taste stimulation now! Oh, Neil, I don't think I feel like it. I'm so going to get you back for this. So that's how we got our first toaster. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Uh, well, uh, you okay there? Never better. Yeah, I'm just savoring the amazingness of pickled olives. They're wonderful, aren't they? Yeah, I just can't understand how anyone could find such things to be disgusting. Take your time. We've got two bottles left. Good grief. I'm living vicariously through Watts right now. So I said, hey, that's not right. And they totally agreed. Oh my gosh, this is great. And you know what else is wrong with society today? Oh God, this is good. Yeah, I actually have it right here. Why? May I see it? Uh, okay. Here it is. And freeze. Finally, dear lord. How are the olives? How are the olives, Neil? Oh, shut your mouth. Time to hadouk in the memento. Hulk smash! Neil, seriously, we're going to get a copyright claim from this. <laughs> I'm trying to get into this, and you're ruining the mood. Totally worth it. All right. Um, oh, gosh. Okay, so four. Four, eh? That didn't seem right. Mm-hmm-hmm. Gosh, this is so tough. My brain hurts from these. Mm. Mm. 
Okay. So that one's done now, but the rest of these aren't. And that makes it tricky. Hmm. I'm making a mess of myself here. Okay, let's try again. Does anyone have any tricks that they can figure out for these things? So if if it's not evident, you you touch one of these um, one of these memories and it, it flips, right? It flips the, the ones that are not flipped. It's very simple, but it's not at the same time. Hmm. Oh no, that's that's the wrong way. I can't go that way. Okay, so we have this one now. That's blank. But it's only blank for the moment though. That's the really tough thing. Is I like I can't I'm not very good at like preparing a puzzle. Like Tetris, I like Tetris and like Puyo Puyo and Panel de Pan, but I am bad at it. Oops. Um, okay. Oh, hey, hold on. Yo. Okay, sweet. All right. So maybe, maybe that's what I need to do is I just need to like step back and stop clicking things and just like view the puzzle for what it is. Um, so I'm actually, I think I'm, I'm going to run quick and just go grab some more water and use the, uh, use the bathroom quick and I will be right back. Uh, but yeah, just give me, give me a moment and, uh, and I will be, I will be back momentarily. I swear I won't, I won't make it long at all. All right. BRB.
Hello. We're back. Sorry if I scared you by just yelling. Hello. I uh, I just read something in the chat here. Something about Zeon needs to Zeon's got to see that. Oh yeah, that's true. You can make clips of whatever you want here on YouTube. Absolutely. I appreciate sharing it with us. Feel free. Absolutely feel free. Okay, so where were we? We were about to activate this memento. Oh, yeah, because we solved the puzzle. Thank heavens. Oh, hey, we're back. We're back. Uh, we're a bit further in the past now. We have a younger Johnny here. <laughs> How'd I get here? I don't know. I just, I just teleported, really. Crikey, nutcrackers! You aren't Australian? Who cares? We're like 20 billion nanometers off the ground and standing on a dang flagpole. Just jump down. It's not like you. It's not like you can be hurt here. Are you kidding me? It's a freaking skydive. You can't stay on here. You can't get off. God, you hate it when this happens. I swear, if this place... Ava, what the? Wuss. That's funny. Oh, I love the the lighthouse and this this uh the sun right now. The sunset is really really beautiful, and the autumn leaves falling. I'm very much about this scene. Why would they abandon her like this? I suppose she's just no longer needed. No longer needed? By ships, I mean. You know how it is, now that everything has GPS and all that. Look, River. This place means a lot to me too, and I've been thinking. In our current state, things have been pretty stable. If we save well, in a few years, we could afford to buy a house on top of here. It's going to be a squeeze, but I'm sure we'd be able to see her from the window. In the morning, at night, we'd always be nearby. And we could walk here anytime. She'll never be alone again, John. I'll be able to watch over her every day. Yeah, yeah, we will. Good for them. You gotta be kidding me. You remember what happens, don't you? It's like watching a train wreck. The ending isn't any more important than any of the moments leading up to it. The important thing is that over there, over here, they are happy. Let's just go. Yeah, so for anyone hanging out in the chat that doesn't know, I am planning on playing the whole game today. So, uh, which the VOD will always be up on YouTube uh, if you want. Like if you if you dip in and out throughout the stream at all or anything, or you catch some of it and can't hang out for the whole thing, you know, I understand. Uh, it's nice to see Mai in the chat as well there. Uh, I, yeah, I am really liking this game a lot so far. The movement is like really weird. I don't know why I have to complain about something, but, but yeah, I am hanging out for the whole, I'm planning on playing the whole thing today. That was part of the push for me, like to play this game as well. Was like, if I if I want to play this this game on stream, I want to play the whole thing. And it, it seems like it's about four hours long, uh, maybe a little more, maybe a little less, probably more for me because I I take forever doing anything in games. But ah yes, the cheese moon. Wait wait, they were referring to the lighthouse as Anya, weren't they? I suppose so. Then that riv. Then that river, she declined treatment for the sake of a lighthouse? Isn't that a bit too extreme? I've seen stranger things in the course of the job. Me too, but uh, I can never wrap my head around it. It's none of our business anyway. She's not our client. Okay. I really thought Anya was the person that was staying with them earlier at the house that has the two kids. Uh, so I, yeah, I was. It's nice. It's not nice to see, but I'm, 
It's nice to get confirmation that I was wrong there. Ah, this was made in RPG Maker. Nice. I think I did hear something about that. And, uh, yeah, I think when I tweeted about it, my th I think my friend Johnny actually uh, was talking about the fact that this was built in RPG Maker, and I just completely forgot. That makes a lot more sense, though, with the movement. Thank you. Oh, okay. We have to go back. Dip back down. Yo, lighthouses are beautiful. Um, my girlfriend really likes lighthouses a lot. She, uh, when we moved to Oregon, she actually got a tattoo of the first lighthouse that we ever went to go see because she liked it so much. It's a beautiful tattoo. Um, but yeah, this this summer, I think it is, we're gonna try to go on like a lighthouse tour where we just like drive around the coast and see as many lighthouses as we can. So this game is gonna make me look at lighthouses different and hopefully you, you as well. <laughs> Oh, and there's the there's the the origami bunny memento. Okay, so five here, five, five, five. So I have to think about. Hmm, man, this is really tricky. So for anyone watching, these puzzles are always melting my mind. Should my girlfriend play this game? Potentially, I'll find out by the end of it. Yeah, I'm curious, what is, uh, Jeff Jeff just dropped in the chat there. Uh, he said he saw a lighthouse when he was in Hawaii and the same lighthouse was featured on the Windows 10 login screen. That's sweet. Yeah, does anyone else have like memories or like things they think of when it comes to lighthouses? Like Bioshock, I feel like someone's gonna say something about Bioshock Infinite in a good way, you know? Oof, I don't know why I thought that was, uh... Oh, nice! Hey, thanks for the super chat, Geeky. That's really kind. And, uh, Geeky Gaming Family TV says this game was made in RPG Maker, but was then ported to a new engine. I didn't know that that was something... I didn't consider that that was something that you could do. That's really cool. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so this is empty now. That's good. So we have two rows empty now. Hmm. Hmm. Darn. Oh, see, that's not what we need either. Gosh. Yeah, I really do want to just, like, Imagine Turtle says in the chat here, I love how chill this is and getting to know the Nintendo Life team better. I also just want to say thanks for, like, hanging out and and just kicking back while, like, we try to figure this out together and while we see the story. And and honestly, yeah, it's just it's just really nice. It's really nice to hang out and have, have some people who want to go through this together. So thanks. Thanks for being here. Ooh, Jacob says they see the answer. Hmm. What starting point should I go with? Hmm. Nova Scotia, when you think of lighthouses. Are there a lot there? Hmm. Gosh, it's so tricky. Okay, that's kind of where I got to before. I love how like confident I was after I finished the first puzzle like this. I was like, yeah, I'm totally gonna like, I understand how to do these now. And now I'm just like, oh my God, I don't know. I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to figure out this bunny memory. 
I want to say I do, but I just don't, you know? Ha! Yeah! Oh, God. It's like... Oh. Oh, it's such a relief to solve one, because it just feels like I'm, like... Not only is my own time on the line, but I'm also just like hanging out with all of you and subjecting you to this like puzzle solving experience. So, oh my God, I forgot about the diagonal. I really did that time. Oh, right. I got to talk to it now. Ac activate the memento. What? Enhance the memento. And I wonder how long he's known River for. I wonder if they're going to be like childhood friends. River? Hey, there's... Uh, so she started making them all the way back then. Or she had one as a gift or something. One of the origami rabbits. <laughs> Geeky. Dude, for real. Okay, so maybe we, maybe we have to follow. Is he known as John now? Oh, this one's a yellow one. Right, I didn't consider that. So I want to go look at the notes for a second here. So this is what we all know about our subject, Johnny, right now, by the way. Uh, he has a goal that he wants to go to the moon. Uh, the moon in his memory is always full. The clocks in Johnny's house never tick. Very strangely. Johnny's favorite Johnny's favorite pickled olives. He loves pickled olives. A paper rabbit that River gave Johnny. And the deserted lighthouse on the cliff is named Anya. So we are making good progress. Ah, there we go. Okay, okay. <laughs> Whoa, my, that's awesome. Yeah, I, I can't remember, if, or I don't know if you were here when I was mentioning this, but yeah, apparently this game is supposed to be about four to, yeah, they were saying four to five hours. So uh, I almost would recommend, well, I mean, you can hang out and watch us play it too, but I feel like I might be spoiling the gameplay experience for some people while we, while we play this. So I totally understand if you dip out of the stream, but um but that, that, I'm, that's so cool that you picked it up. Was it on sale or anything, too? How the heck did they move this thing upstairs? Who knows? But I bet it'd be a piece of cake for the TARDIS. Oh, my good gravy. These people are s such geeks in a, in a good way. Well, that settles it. Moving pianos is a pain in the butt for everybody. It'd probably take an entire episode to get it inside. I feel like we need a laugh track right there. I wouldn't mind seeing such an episode. Me neither. It sounds pretty epic. It sounds pretty epic. Some of those birds chirping. Very, very pretty. Very pretty birds. Oh, huh. You went out for a haircut this early in the morning? What is River doing? What are you making there? Rabbits. Did you see the rabbit I left for you? Yeah. Tell me about that rabbit. Hmm? Describe the rabbit. Uh, it was yellow. What else? A bit puffy? What else? Well, it's just a paper rabbit. I don't know how else to describe it. Ugh. You're acting strange, River. Is something wrong? River? I don't know about you, but I'm getting some inverse deja vu. I think I know of her condition, but this is rather odd even for that. You think she's... Do, do you? Perhaps. Who knows? 
But like you said, she's not our client. Johnny is. Let's just get what we're paid for over with. Oh, nice. Cool. So it was like, it was 10, 10 pounds roughly. That's awesome. Doctor Who references in here. That is crazy. And Mark, that's very kind. I'm, I'm glad that you're, I'm glad you're happy to just hang and, and experience the story this way. It is fun. It's fun to do this with all of you instead. Instead of me just like, yeah, just playing this on the couch. Like I've settled down. It's still a very emotional journey, but my, my, my face doesn't feel like it's just going to start watering at any point now. So, but that's for now. So this is the day she started it, huh? Yeah, so what we know is that River has been making bunny rabbit origami for a long time, for some reason. Oh, and she cut her own hair. Many long strands of orange hair. Huh. We can't talk to River, right? No, okay. The platypus. Yo, the new mother merch revealed today? I don't think I did, Mark. Um, I saw the yo-yo the other day. Or maybe that was like a week ago. I don't know. Oops. Oh my gosh, what? That was an accident, but I will take it. Oh, yes. Yeah, that was ugh, so good. Yeah, heck yeah, you're my emotional support. Are you kidding me? And if anyone else starts getting emotional, I'm probably not going to help. Because I'm going to be a wreck, too. It's in the car, though. That's weird. Yeah, I like, I, I like the element of the fact that, like, the memories are obscured by this, uh, this, you know, like, black space, I guess. But it's also, it's really eerie. Kind of unsettling. Mother Skateboards? Oh, man, I think I... I'll have to take a look. Okay, great. <laughs> They've been making so much good mother merch lately, but it all comes from Japan, so it's like the cost of shipping and stuff is is wild. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Oh, cool. Whoa, hey. Layer, AK, big thanks for sharing again the Earthbound documentary re recently. I finally watched it and started playing Earthbound Beginnings on Nintendo Switch Online. That's awesome. I'm really glad. Thanks, thanks for watching it. And thanks for the, the super chat was nice. You didn't have, you never have to do that. But, but that's like, that means a lot. Thank you. I love that video. It's any, I love those games. Just anything that can make me feel is, uh, it's, it's, I appreciate it. I feel like we can learn a lot from, from games and from any forms of media. But they also know how to make you laugh and smile still, too. This is where the house used to be. The house that never should have been. I mean, really, what is it about unusually high and dangerous places that attract people? <laughs> oh, and we got a new... We got a new... Um, we got a new note there. Oh hey yeah, I forgot. We can still go back and, and take a look at the take take a look at Johnny there. Oh, and cool, we can change the language right there. That's nice. We're on chapter three. Wow, we're actually doing we're further along than I, I thought as well. That's cool. Um someone. Oh, Johnny and River are not afraid of heights. Okay, we've learned that because of the because of the cliff that they built a house on. Oh, maybe we can see the light. I'm excited to see the lighthouse in its prime, actually, by the way. Mm, okay. Is that why you approached me back then? Yes. What about now? I suppose it's just a part of it. Look, it was a long time ago. It's not too relevant now, but Izzy said I should tell you the truth. I shouldn't have tainted our first meeting like that. Is 
Is that a hacky? <laughs> That's a hacky sack. Can you throw this as far as where Anya's at? I, I I don't know. You want me to try? Would you? <laughs> I love that it just looks like a picture of a hacky sack. River! Are you insane? Get away from there! John's very interesting. He, he's like... He reminds me of somebody that I do know, actually, in the fact that they, they play life very safe. And I, I can't begin to understand what that would feel like normally, but I think maybe this game will kind of give me some... give us some... a better understanding of that. Why did she cut her hair anyway? I like long hair. Cool. We have all of the... We have all of the pieces. Okay, okay. Is this going to be as simple as this? Yes! Yes, it is! Look at me! The master puzzle solver. Got sliding block puzzle? Hand it over. I'll solve it in a second. <laughs> Mark's <laughs> Ah, okay, okay. Remember the hacky sack. Okay. This is the Titanic all over again, says Mark as well. Just because she and I share the syndrome doesn't mean we share the same head. But you must be able to help somehow. Everything was okay at first, but now she's even more aloof than before. Even when we were in the same room, she nev she's never really there. It's starting to take a toll on me. I just don't know how to take it anymore. Well, I can't speak for her, but many of us do long for connections. Though being able to articulate it is a different story. Just because she struggles to express it doesn't mean she doesn't feel anything. She's still there, right? Sometimes you just have to have faith that she cares. That's pretty difficult to do day in and day out. I know. Wait, but why do you seem so normal, Izzy? I mean, don't you have the same condition? For once, for one, I was, I was diagnosed when I was still young. With effort, it's not impossible to acquire a guise of social norms systematically. But you know what? I both envy and pity River. Me, I'm an actress because I've been doing it my, all my life, not only on stage but off stage and practically every moment. I've gotten good at it because acting is the only option I have. It's the only way for me to be normal. But River, she never did that. She remained an outcast and refused to learn to step against it. I don't know if it was by choice or by limit, whether bravery or cowardice. There are days when I just can't stand faking it anymore. And then I realize it's too late. The Isabel that people know of is all an act, and the real me has become, has long become a stranger. I think in the end, I just envy her. Huh, I've never met a woman with it before then technically you still haven't met one. This isn't part of our business. Let's move. Hmm. <laughs> so I can't tell if these people are friends or Co-workers, or not co-workers, um, but like doc other, these other people, the, the blonde hair and the brown, black hair, I can't exactly tell because of the, it's a little foggy, but those two people there. Yeah, I wonder what connection they really have to 
River and Johnny. Johnny boy. These like silhouettes of people are very interesting as well. Anything new today? No. What are you rereading there? The Emperor's New Clothes. I loved this when I was young. Still do, huh? Of course. Just for different reasons. When I was a kid, I loved the Animorphs. <laughs> Ugh, crikey. <laughs> I didn't think the Animorphs thing was actually going to, like, come back to us. I thought it was just, like, that's it, you know? Oh, that's funny. That's really that's a really good, solid way to wrap that, wrap that back in. I know. Your mother gave you a book from it as a wedding present. <laughs> yeah, that was one odd wedding present. I guess I was pretty obsessed with it when I was a kid. Why haven't you read them since? Hmm? I saw them. They're collecting dust in the garage. Well, I just grew out of them, I guess. I mean, they're children's books. What's wrong with reading children's books? They're comforting. I suppose so. I think I'm going to get this one. What book was that again? It's um, Emperor's New Clothes, was it? I'm not yours, you're not mine. Be my anti-Valentine. Hey, River, this one's not that corny. River? Can't tell if they're in a bookstore or a library. Or a, a, a card outlet or a library. That's what I meant. Oh, hey, and here's, here's John again down here. What about David's? He's my favorite character. Uh, I, I don't know. What are, you, what are you talking about? Animorphs. Have you read it? No. <laughs> yes. Really? Sort of. Oh, oh, do you know what animal David is? David's main morph? Um, oh, that's great. Wait, am I supposed to guess? Uh, I'm going to guess like a, a, a dog. David the dog sounds good to me. Oops. Now how do I hit enter? Mmm. Oh, shoot. What did I do? That doesn't sound right. Don't worry. I'll find it out for you. Maybe we talk to this version of Johnny over here. Nope. Johnny, please, you need to talk to us about Animorphs. <laughs> Tobias, Hawk, Rachel, Grizzly, Jake, Tiger, Marco, David, Cobra. Oh, just wondering. You could have just Googled it. She knew all that? That's great. Do you know what animal is David's main morph? We do now. Snake. Just going to see what happens if I... All right. Who am I kidding? That's not going to work. It is the same amount of letters, but... Cobra. A little slithery snake. Oh yeah, Cobra. I really wish they kept the old covers instead of these plain sheets. Those were cool. Yeah, those things were wild. Wild like animals. Oh shoot. River's giving us the rundown. Those covers were ridiculous. Has anyone read an Animorphs book? Anyone in the chat? Has anyone read one of those in like years? 
I do remember always being stoked about them, but I don't actually remember the story of any of them. Maybe that's not the point, but... Oops. Okay, okay. This is where we start. What are we starting off with today? Okay. Best of five, eh? Oh, shoot. That doesn't seem right. <gasps> Yay! Yeah! God, yes! Oh, sorry. We have to hear River talk about the Animorphs again. Yeah, does anybody remember how, Yeah, what, what the story even was for Animorphs? Let me see. I'm going to read the chat here for a sec. I, uh, Mark always had his eye on them in school library. Just uh, Vic saw that meme of Animorphs. It's like the uncanny value transformation. Yeah. I wonder how e easy it'd be to like collect, do make like a full collection of Animorphs books. Like I don't, I don't think that I would ever do that. But yeah, is there like a? I wonder if there's like a rare Animorphs book. You know. <laughs> That's so great. Animorphs. Johnny liked Animorphs. Oh, everyone's leaving already? But I just got here. Seems to happen to you a lot at parties. Oh, go save your childish jobs for the insecure. Oh, it's our turn to walk around now a bit. Okay, okay. <laughs> An old Animorphs book. Oh, because it's at, we're at the wedding, right? It was a wedding gift. It's a jar of pickled olives. I see, I see le fromage, but where's the moo mouse or moose? That's the corny. Oh, right. That's the corniest remark you've made all night. Don't you mean cheesiest remark? Wow. Well, hey, at least we got something from that. That's good. Okay, can't interact with them or with that person. Maybe, oh, maybe the food platter? Let's go up to the food platter. Nope. Hmm, lots of people here. But yeah, I can't really seem to do anything with them. Maybe the empty one or the leaves. Nope. Nothing with the leaves either. Nothing. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, we can't go down that way. Must go north. Ah, uh, are we going back up to the lighthouse, probably? That's cool that they got married here, too, it seems. Oh, look at them. They're so young. Do you feel any different? Now that we got the rings on, I mean. No. Why, do you? Actually, yeah, I think so. What is it like? It's just different. Just the responsibilities, I suppose. Responsibilities. Do you like the name Anya? 
Hey, look, the lighthouse isn't, like, in disarray right now, either. Would you like to name her Anya? I understand. Yeah. Anya's a good name for her. Hey, come with me. I like that we're getting to see, like, the fun, carefree side of, of these two. Oh, this is the moment! I think I saw this in the trailer. I think. Yeah, it's a beautiful backdrop, too, and everything. <laughs> this can't be a good idea. I'll probably trip and fall. Don't worry. Just follow my steps. That's pretty. <laughs> Ow, my butt! I think you stepped on my toes. <laughs> Sorry. Come on, let's try again. Look at him dancing around in the lighthouse. I do. And do you take this man standing before you to be your lawfully wedded husband? To promise to love and comfort, to honor and to keep in sickness and in health for as long as you shall live? Yes. By the power invest invested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Wiles. Aw, oh, they're married now. How sweet. Now, Kith. Are you going to Kith? Ah, the wedding. Ugh, yeah, what did you think that was? I'm just bad at weddings, that's all. Fluids tend to escape from my eyes. I didn't know you were that sentimental. Oh, did I say my eyes? I meant my mouth. And by fluids, I meant both fluids and solids. Oh no. That's a lovely image. Thanks, Neil. Come, let's find a way to get out of here. All this happiness and joy is really putting you off too, huh? No, I just don't like watching people make mistakes. Sheesh, whatever happened to just take it a moment by moment? Ugh, I do love this, this song on piano. It's very pretty. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I don't know where to go now. Maybe we just go south. Go back to the party. Yeah, that seems right. Yeah, gross. Gross things happen at weddings. Ew, ew, ew. Oh, I better go see how your aunt is doing. All right, Ma. Tell her thanks for coming. I will. Oh my gosh, she's so, like, hazy. Like, you can barely make out who she is. I'm so proud of you, Joey. Joey? Oh, that's my grandpa's name. He passed away before I was born. Ma calls me by it as a nick my nickname. How come you never told me about it? Because I'd rather you call me John. Ugh, not another sentimental grandparent childhood. What do you have against these anyway? I mean, you sure talk about your grandfather a lot. What? No, I don't. Whatever you say. I'm so proud of Joey. The olives? Is it the olives that we need? No, 
Can't interact with those. Maybe I can interact with them again. I'm only missing one thing. But I also, I haven't actually found the object that we need to hang out with this time. Remember that Johnny's mom calls him Joey. That's critical. Okay. Okay. Can do. Yeah, I'm excited to see how these things, like, all kind of connect with each other. Maybe I was supposed to go back down, but we'll find out. Surely. Yeah, I probably was supposed to find something down down at the party. <laughs> Trying to be observant <laughs> and make sure I don't forget things. This tree is massive, by the way. Very beautiful. Very nice tree. Ah, maybe we can leave this area and go south. Oh, yeah. Wow, okay. Oh, this semi. No! Oh, gosh. Come on. Wait, is that a rabbit? Think this is the source of all those folded paper ones? Why would she obsess over some roadkill? Not to mention so many years later. Don't ask me. You are the woman here. Oh, gosh. I'll be convinced that I'm the only one when you do a cordless bungee jump. Come on, River, we're late. Poor bunny. Good. That was easy. Sad, though, still. Goodness. Cars. The real gift and the curse with them. I know it's a fantastic wedding when the mementos roadkill. Hey, maybe she saw it as a metaphor for the terrible marriage. So years later, she began folding the rabbits because she was reminded of how rotten it was. Or, you know, something equally pretentious. Cool story, Neil. That doesn't really seem likely. That's a bummer, though. Poor bunny. I want to give the bunny a name, but... Oh, come on. Ugh. Okay. Poor thing. What's with all the road kills today? Don't look at me like that. It smells like a farm. And road kill. Deactivate the scent simulator or get away from here already. God, Watts is such a butt. I don't like him. I mean, I know that's the point, but... Oh, yeah, there's the orange and... Yeah, there's the, the bunny uh, that Johnny gets made for him at the beginning of the game, sort of, that I think that's what they were trying to say earlier, is that it had, like, it, it was the same colors as the wedding dress. Don't do it. Don't do what? You know what. Don't not ride this horse? What are you, five years old? Okay, I won't not ride it. <laughs> it just like disappeared oh my gosh what this is weird how is that happening quit wasting time neil i guess they can reset it oh crap that can't be good <laughs> uh do something don't just stand there help me dang it that was not in the job description well hey i said i didn't like him so now he's gone so that's good 
A note about Dr. Neil Watts. Yeah, we haven't checked the note tab in a little while. Let's see what kind of things we've been jotting down. Joey is Johnny's nickname. His grandfather went by the same name. Animorphs was Johnny's favorite series of books when he was growing up. Oh, we have, cool. We have multiple notes. Roadkill on Johnny and River's wedding day. The village idiot. Is that supposed to be uh, Watts? That's funny. Who knew? Who knew he was such a horse guy? I know where we're supposed to go now. Oh, this fence. That seems new. But maybe, I don't know. I don't, I don't recall the fence before. He's just horsing around, says Paul. Yep. The horse of truth. Huh. Oh, okay. Cool. Ah, cool. A horse for us to ride. Is that really a good idea? She should be okay. She's not new to this anymore. But she has never done it by herself before. I'll be fine. I'm not a child. Ah! River! I rode a horse as a kid uh, once or twice, and it was terrifying. What's the matter? Let's go. Look at River's a pro. That's sweet. Hey, wait up. Huh. I wonder if Neil got off that horse yet. <laughs> Ava! There he goes. He's going to go ride with him. This is about 19% more than I can handle. What a moron. Oh, what the corn cob? Right, nice. It is for us to ride. That's sweet. Yo, cool. We actually can ride the horse. Control direction with the joystick. Catch the others quickly. Okay. Is there a sprint button? Oh, nice. That explains why this area is so wide open and just massive. Hey. Get back here, Watts. <laughs> uh, did we just throw him off the horse? Okay, cool. Maybe that's what needed to happen. Huh. Maybe the game just glitched. Did I break the game? I can't push any buttons right now. Maybe that's what happened. I think the game crashed. Yeah, I'm going to say it crashed. I'm just going to close it quick before anyone notices. Right? It's fine. It's fine. It's indie games. It ha any, any, honestly, doesn't even have to be indie games. Just any games. I like that the moon is the thing that's listening to the music. <laughs> uh, Softlock? Yeah, it does, it does look like it. The game didn't want us to play. It, did, it didn't want us to finish it in one sitting. Oh my gosh, if it didn't autosave, I would just... That's how the game gets me to tear up. Yeah, it's got to autosave, right? I'm just like, okay, cool. Yeah, we're good. Look at that. We're back. Horse racing, the game. Okay, I think there's actually this this trail it looks like that we could follow. Oh, cool. Here, this memento will do, but I'm not getting on that horse again. Yeah, no kidding. You're going to break our game. Okay, cool. So now we got to go get back on the horse, though. And go and catch the others. <laughs> and that was the story of To the Moon. Oh my gosh, why can we go in the road? Whoa, cool. We only need one more. Yay, we got them. We got all three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo. 
That's cute that we get to ride the horse, though. That's fun. Okay, so now how do I get off? Okay, there we go. That was good. Boop, boop, boop! Oh, okay, right. Another puzzle. Oh, gosh. Okay. So I like that you can just kind of, like, notice the repetition in these sometimes, and that almost maybe is... Oops. That's it. That's it! Yay! So glad. I'm so glad the game auto-saved, too, by the way. Oh, gravy. That would have been rough. It was a right mare for a moment? Get out, Paul. So we're probably, like, over halfway done with the game now, I'm thinking. Is the diagnosis certain? Yes, we've reached a consensus on the results. Unfortunately, like many case of, of, cases of pervasive developmental disorders, this is a rather late diagnosis. Had you known when you were a child, miss, it could have saved you a lot of trouble. Do you have any books on it? This one is by Tony Atwood. He's one of the specialists on the subject. You can borrow it for free of charge for now. Just don't elope with it. What a weird thing to say. Thanks, Doc. Now, are you two a couple? Unmarried and without any other current legal app affiliation? Yes, I see. Well, I could give you a referral to a specialized counselor if you wish. Is there anything unsettling in the relationship? No. And you, sir? No, it's fine. Nonetheless, sir, you should also give the book a read. It help you understand her condition. I'd rather not. John, ah, are you like in denial? Like, why is that? Well, it's your call. In the meantime, there's a thing called equine therapy that might help her. A ranch just north of here offers it. I can contact them for you. Told you so. Huh. There's the bag. Mm. What do we get? Oh, a piece of some some new note. <laughs> Time for Vic to pony up. Uh oh. Excuse me, could you please silence the clock? The ticking really bothers her. It's not that severe. It'll be okay. No problem. It's standard policy. If there's anything at all that makes you uncomfortable, just let me know. Huh, cool. That's nice of them. And that makes sense now, too, with the with the clocks all being turned off. But why have... Well, I guess I was going to say, why have the clocks still? But I suppose, like, they are... They can be a, still a decoration, but... Keep it together. I got to stay stable for this stream. Dr. Atwood is a real world doctor who specializes in Asperger's. So River has Asperger specifically. Ah, okay, okay. Is the term that they used for it just something that was like an old term or was something that they were just using to kind of mask that that um, that feeling? Huh, I guess that explains the ones in the house. Oh, right, the clocks, the clocks. A stuffed toy platypus. I can't believe this piece of atrocity is dated all the way back here. Looks like someone took good care of it. Still has got pretty bad taste in animals, though. What? Platypuses are cute. Come on. Who's this weirdo? Why is the kid from Limbo, like, hanging out in the corner over here? God, Paul, dude. Gosh. He kissed the bridle. Oh, jeez. Just a bit longer. They'll be calling for you soon. Oh, and that's all of them then. What is the thing this time? Whoa. We can walk on the table. That feels like an accident. Is it something in this room? I don't know what the memento is this time. the platypus has already been a memento for us, right? Oh, maybe we leave the room. Maybe that's what we do. Nope. Okay. John? Just a little bit longer. They'll be calling for you soon. 
Huh. Yeah, I don't know what the momentum... Well, maybe let me look at the notes again, actually, because we just got a new note a little bit ago. Maybe that has something to do with what we are talking about. Uh, oh, there we go. Tony Atwood is an expert on Asperger's and the author of the book on River's Condition. Okay, that's really good to know. Hmm. I am struggling with where to go now, though. <laughs> Maybe we can talk to River up in here again. No. Hmm. Does anyone know? Does anyone know where to go now? Because we have all of the the memories. Maybe I'm just mixing up. Maybe I'm just just barely missing something. You didn't talk to the front desk person? No. Oh, the clock! Oh my gosh, the clock! Wow. Thank you. There it is. There it is. I forgot about the clock. Oh, gosh. I just love it. Love it when a puzzle puts itself together like that. What a treat. clock how did i forget about the clock jeez and that explains why we can walk on the counter uh oh my gosh are we back to johnny as a kid now or maybe just a teenager <laughs> i know i can't believe he once paid to see this crap in theater no you idiot look we leaped johnny is a kid now wow maybe he's just a teen but Still. Holy overcooked macaroni. Ooh, I kind of want some macaroni and cheese for dinner now. The kid's in the theater all by himself. What a loser. You go to the theater by yourself all the time. That's different. No one's competent enough to match my taste. But that aside, how could anyone last through this rubbish? Uh, even he couldn't last. Uh oh. Maybe he had to go to the bathroom. And thus, this movie sucks on both physical and metaphysical levels. Q E D. Come on, let's go. What? Oh, right. I wish it was Tuesday. I want to go to a movie and have some popcorn now. Well, wait, I ain't talking to no emo teenager. Grammar, my dear Watson. Shut up. That's not even a full sentence. Let's just go look for mementos. I still ain't talking to no emo teenager. Okay, so we got two. We have two memories now. The cinema. Does anyone use the word cinema anymore? Like, hey, do you want to go, do you want to see a flick at the cinema? Do you want to go see a film? Oh, there he is, getting stood up. Now that's a Kodak moment. You relate well with your kin, I see. Hey, I want to construct him a lady friend. Can we construct a lady friend for him, Ava? No. Aw. How weird. It's funny that these like these dining this dining room here too doesn't actually have like a table either it just has booths which is fine but oh but there's tables everywhere else I see but no chairs oh wait there's some chairs I see the chairs now I see well there's nothing here hate to say it but I guess I have to nag something out of him again all yours at least there's no olives this time no olives gross
number three. Theater number three. Whoa! There's River. River? You were in there this whole time? I waited for you at the lobby. I thought you didn't come. Why did you leave? I thought we were watching the movie together. Oh man. Huh? I'm the one who should ask that. What do you mean? We were watching the movie together and then you left. We weren't watching it together. I didn't even know you were there. If you saw me in there, why didn't you come and find me? What difference does it make? We were watching the same movie in the same room. <laughs> What's wrong? You're so weird. Do you not want to watch the movie together anymore? Of course I do. Come on, let's head back in before it ends. It's like nice, but also kind of mean that he called her weird. But I, I don't know. I don't know. Oh my gosh, Vic! No, don't don't apologize for the puns. I, I've 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 just been in this world of the game, so don't don't even sweat it. You feel wrong? Well, let's hope our ride's waiting for us in there. The horse ride? Is the horse in there? The platypus. The platypus is back! Oh, do we have all of the... We do. Cool. Alright, another one of these puzzles. Okay, okay, okay. Um, bop, 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 bop. <gasps> yeah! Look it! Yay! Ah! Activate the memento. You know, I think this platypus is growing on me. Mostly just for convenience, but hey. Wop, 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 wop. The platypus. They have to have made like an official platypus piece of merch for this game, right? Also, my my's back. Hello, thanks for coming back. Uh, what happened? They were now like young, teenage, John and River, and they went to a movie together. And I had an awkward exchange where like they didn't sit next to each other, but it was kind of cute and like innocent. But uh, but John was also like I don't know, maybe inadvertently mean. I don't I don't know how to feel about it yet. It's weird because we're seeing all this in in reverse, you know. It's not that. Look, maybe this was just wasn't such a good idea. Oh, sheesh. What could possibly happen? And there's there's Nicholas, by the way, from later in the game. Just think about it. Worst case scenario, she says no. You strut on like nothing happened. No one will ever know, and everyone will still think you're cool. But what if she tells someone? Sounds like he wants to ask her out. Or yells at me. Don't be a little wuss. <laughs> or, or says yes, but really means no. Psh, quit worrying. What? What? Who would do that? And what if she throws an encyclopedia in my face? I don't even have a helmet. Dear Lord, I'm so not prepared for this. Dude, don't panic. Just straightening your just straighten your spine and quit being a little wuss. Yeah, I should straighten up in my seat too a little bit. Yeah, you tell him. Everything's gonna be all right. Just turn around. Okay, okay. Hey, what what are you? Shh. Hello. Uh, hello? Can you hear me? Yes. <laughs> of course. Why wouldn't... Why aren't you be able to hear you? Then why didn't you... Never mind. Um, that's a cool platypus you got there. What are you reading? A book. About 
platypus? No. Oh, I, I, I think that's great. Hey, you wanna... Lighthouses. Huh? There are exactly 16 second order Frenzel lens lighthouses in the country left. Nine of them are coastal, and one of them was modified from a historic kerosene lamp lighthouse. Huh. Oh, is that what you're reading about? Um, say, you want to go catch a movie together sometime? I don't know. That's okay. I'll give you time to consider it. <laughs> I can't. Why? There's no date or time. Oh, um... How about the Saturday at 8? He just knows about a, a time, the time of the movie he wants to see? Well? Ava, I think the system froze. Yeah. Yes. Oh, great. Never mind. I guess we'll work out the details later? Um, I'll just... Yeah, what a goofball. What a goofball. What? What are you looking at me for? You think I'm going to call out how utterly awkward that was? Well, just forget it. I'm not giving in to your expectations. Give him a break. He was still just a kid. You of all people should relate. What's that supposed to mean? Shut up and go. Shut up isn't my name, you know. Stuffed toy platypus. Well, I suppose if you look at it from the right angle... No, not really. Never mind. The platypus is cute. Get off your high horse. Watts. Uh-oh. It's hard walking down those stairs. What the heck were you doing in there, dude? What? I asked her out. No, that was pathetic. If I were you, I would have just barged in there and been all like, Hey, you! Go out! Me, you, now! That's just terrible. I know, and it would have still been better than what you just did. Kids are jerks to each other, my goodness. Leonardo da Vinci trained by drawing eggs. Barrels are like very big eggs. Therefore, you will all be very big da Vinci's. What? <laughs> Dear Lord, I can't believe you got me to take this stupid class. Aw, oh, come on, it's fun. Only if I can, only if you can paint. You'll get good if you practice, you know. Yeah, right. After this class, I'm never picking up a brush again. John, don't be like that. Johnny boy! Why do we have to draw stupid barrels anyways? So you can learn. Quit complaining. I'm I'm sure you'll learn to enjoy it someday. We only have two memories in here. Oh, hey, Nintendo fan. Thanks for hanging out. It's very good to see you in the chat. You've been there, like, the whole time. So thank you. I hope you had fun. And you can check the VOD later if you want to see how it wraps up. I think you should because we're getting there. Oh, there they are. Psst, she's coming this way. I'll tab, I'll tie, I'll tab. <laughs> Wonder what they were looking at. Probably like new grounds or something. Can I talk to both of them or is that okay, that is the conversation. Oh, but there was no I didn't consider the fact that we didn't get any uh, memories from that. We are we have like full reign of the school though, that's kinda cool. Anyone? Oh my, I'm glad. Oh, you're knitting. What are you knitting? What are you making? All right then. River, why don't you answer it? I know you know the answer. We're waiting, River. Fine. I guess we'll have to... 
He made sail on August 3rd of 1492 from the Spanish city of Palo, Palos de la Frontera, which was founded in 1322 and granted to Alvar Perez de Guzman, who was at the mere age of 14 by the... Okay, okay, I only asked for the date. But see, was that so hard? Good lord, does everything with her condition have near photographic memory? Not really, though I think their, their rate memory is often fairly strong. It's pretty eye-opening actually to see like how someone like River goes through life. Cause I think I, yeah, it's just, it's, you can't always know you can't always, uh, I'm an overthinker in life. I overthink everything. Like before someone's even said something, I've thought about it. And so I, yeah, I'm, I'm the kind of person that can like definitely learn from something like this. What is, oh, you can only open during, only open during lunch hours. Okay. Whoa, some blankets. Nice. Are right, your mom's going to freak out. Mm, I see, I see. Maybe this way? Is, is this the playground? Oh, the gym. Everyone's leaving. No. That's a wrap. You chumps better, um, better, be oh, be better next time. I see. An atrium? We could use this place later. I just can't believe that these court lines are rectangles in his head. <laughs> oh, funny. What do we do here? Everyone just left, so I, I, don't, I don't really know if there's something to do here. Oh, cool. Oh, and there's a piano in this room? Neat. Can we play it? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, okay. I should have just done that from the start. Chronic overthinkers here. <laughs> Ugh, fine. You win. Booyah. So we're only missing one memory now. I wonder where it'll be. Maybe it'll be in the cafeteria. Yay. Ah, oh, that makes sense. Everyone left the gym and went to go to lunch. Oh, scary cafeteria. Everyone's eating salads. Ah. I like salad with, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what that is, actually. I take it back. Yeah, she was unique, but she's uniquely boring. I mean, just look at her. Nicholas is a tool. <laughs> she just sits there by herself all day with that creepy deformed duck toy. That's not a deformed duck, that's a platypus. What the heck's a platypus? Quit making words up. Anyway, she's just so off, you know? It's like she's from a totally different planet or something. I know, isn't that cool? Uh, if you're into aliens and that sort of stuff, I guess. But really, if you want to be weird, why don't you go hang out with the emos and goths? Well, for one, I don't want to ruin my hair. <laughs> the fact that we got a name for them says a lot, too. Look, Nick, I just, I don't want to be another typical kid in a sea of typical people. But how the heck would being with her change your own identity? I mean, you'd you'd just be some guy who hangs out with a shy girl. She's not just shy, Nick. There's something strange about her. Being strange isn't always a good thing, you know. Do you even know if she wants to be different? Maybe she just wants to fit in like everyone else. And if she does, pushing her the other way wouldn't help, would it? Look, Nick, the point is that I know what I need. 
and she's the one who has it. So you want her for what she has, but not for her? That's cold, man. I just hope you know what you're doing. I do. I think you're wrong, though. People aren't that typical. Everyone's unique in some way. That's just what Grandma tells you. Huh. Middle school in this memory. My gosh. Wait, so this guy's some kind of human hogging hipster? That's sort of disturbing. You know, sometimes I want to slap our clients upside the head. It's high school. Everyone's a jerk. But hey, welcome to the club. Wait, so this is what he what he told her about at the cliff? Sure, sure. Or he said something about like he didn't want it to go down like that or something maybe or he didn't want it to be like this. Yeah, Nick, what Nick said definitely did does make more sense now. I do agree with you. She then went cuckoo, cuckoo and became, began to make those creepy rabbits, right? Because he confessed this from who knows how long ago. I guess she's pretty good at holding a grudge. I'm not buying it. Something feels missing. Then go get a hat, Sherlock. Come on, I think our passport's leaning against the table there. One, should I even? No, no need. I'm good now. We're missing one. We're gonna hop in the kitchen, find the last memory, maybe the the first creation of olives, or uh, Johnny's love for olives will be in the kitchen here. Stuffed toy platypus. I just love how every time we see this thing, we're guaranteed a free memory link. It must have left as big of a scar on his mind as it did on mine. It doesn't have to be a scar necessarily. Maybe. Maybe it is for him. I don't know. But, but we found the last one. The last memory link. Oh my god. Is he really... Kame! Oh, for walnut's sake. Ha me! Hey, not cool, Ava. You never block someone in the middle of a Kamehameha. <laughs> what? That's great. Very good. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's see what we got here. Hmm. Okay, that was a big mistake. But six now. It's going to take six. Hmm. Whoa! We did it! Oh, that bag is beat. Whose bag is that? Oh, I guess, it, I guess it'd be Johnny's. That makes sense. Copyright infringement, I suppose, but I, I, I think in like in, in books and stories, I think it's okay to reference things like that because it's cute and it's, you know, we all know what it is. I'm going to school now, Ma. Have a nice day, Joey. Oh yeah, my baby boy, growing up so fast. All right, put your pack on, Joey. <laughs> Watt's power level was not over nine thousand. What if he was a girl? Would she still name him after his grandpa? It wouldn't be that bad, actually, since it ends in E. Hmm. Joey. Joey. Julie. Sounds cute. If it sounds so cute, why don't you marry him? Ah, jealous? Oh, yes. So jealous. <laughs> what a strange interaction. Ah, the pickles, or the uh, pickled olives. Cucumbers. I never would have thought. I thought it was just olives. 
Well, to be fair, a ticking clock is pretty annoying. Yeah, that honestly it is. We just walked into the room and we just got a memory link. This looks like a sandwich on the on the ground there next to the soccer ball. It's just it's probably just a chair, but my brain is like lighting up like it's a sandwich. Okay, so we need one more memory link. Yeah, the pixel art's really nice. It meshes really well together. Various books with smudged titles. God, as a kid, I always thought bunk beds were the coolest thing. I had a friend that had bunk beds, and I have this memory of like me staying over at his house, and uh, we played Super Nintendo. He had like a big TV in the corner of his room, like up, or not a big TV, just like a small like 15 inch or something, but it was like balanced up in the corner and I remember us playing like Goof Troop. I don't remember playing any other games, but I do remember that for some reason. Some strange reason, I suppose. Maybe it's not that strange, but <sighs> okay, okay. How are we going to do this one? Um, I kind of want to, I'm going to try these two. Oh boy, that seems like that was not the right play. Yeah, no, I don't think that was right. Um, okay, okay. Let's try these two, maybe? My goodness. I'm trying to figure out the... Oh, no. And now we just have to deal with the ticking clock this whole time, too. Yikes. Um, oh! Yo, look at that. Awesome. Done deal. Oh, a bunk bed? Yeah, you had a desk under it? That's cool. It sounds very efficient. Oh, nice, Mark! You have Mario Paint. Ah, oh, one of the one of the best Super Nintendo games. Oh, and Soccer Ball. That's right. I was like, what is the what's the memento this time? Activate. <laughs> Bunk beds are not fun. Slept on one in college. They just slow you down when you're trying to get up early for class. I can see that. That's totally fair. Ah, it smells like roadkill again. Where are we? Ava? Yeah, we are in like some weird dimension. We're like in a forgotten memory or something almost. Or one that's been suppressed. I don't know. That is weird. That's his next memory. Yeah, but why is it going Laputa on us? I don't know, it's just not linking the memories together for construction. There must be a malfunction within the machine's ADG. Again? I thought the last fix was foolproof for another for another half a year. What? I can't believe those idiots in the maintenance department. Look, don't worry, we've already gotten the teenage years saved. We might still be able to do this. All right, but I ain't telling him about this. As long as we succeed, he doesn't have to know. Oh, Vic TV's talking about, I did the, yeah. Uh, the, uh, the Mario Paint, the ASMR video. Yeah, that was great. I'm glad you caught that. Uh, ready to finalize before activation? Ladies first. God, makes me barf every time he says that. What a shame. I was actually looking forward to it. Billions of lighthouses stuck at the far end of the sky. Ah, Laputa? Is it Laputa or La? Laputa? Don't disturb them. They might not wake easily, but they need the concentration. I've still, still not seen Castle in the Sky. I have it now, but... Yeah, Smy, you're totally right. Like, I'm glad that you ma made the Eternal Sunshine reference, too. We were talking about that earlier.
And that's all this old fool knows. <laughs> Sorry, I can't be of more help. Then that'll have to be enough. Hey, all that's left is to do... To do is linking your register's desire to go to the moon to your early memories. Then we'll pull the switch and voila! You'll be on the moon in no time. I have a question. I, 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 I have a question. If you could make Lily disappear, that means you can alter this world. Then can you not simply make things happen and fulfill my wish here and now? That would work if this were your one true set of memories. What, what do you mean? What is this then? Who, what am I? This is just a copy, a canvas for us to work with, if you will. As for you, you are merely an algorithm traced from Johnny. Enough to reflect his likeness, but far from complete. All we can do is to prepare this canvas in a logically consistent way. And then, when we transfer your registered desire to your childhood, the machine will generate your new life, one where the desire dictates your behavior. The result of that would be written to the real John. So you see, even if we satisfy you, you are merely a read-only program. I mean, we could reset you over and over, and that's enough. Oh, don't be so sensitive. He's not real, you know? If you truly believed that, then why did you care to explain? I'm just trying to save time. Let's go. Doctor? Is that what I truly am? Wow. <laughs> I found you, faker! Johnny, you're not even real! Do you even know how to use the Chaos Emeralds? Wow, okay, so these are all of his, wow, all the mementos from over the years. I didn't realize that there were actually four for each one. I don't really remember what the soccer ball one means. Like, what's the importance of that one? Maybe that just meant youth. Also, is he a floating head? <laughs> oh my gosh, he is. At least give me a warning first. What can I say? I like being a head. I'd ask if that's a pun, but I'm afraid you'd say yes. Oh my gosh, they both are gross. Let's do this fast. I feel silly enough in this form as it is. All we need to do is pass his desires from the latest memory to the earliest. Are we, like, going to possess him? Ah, I see. Okay, cool. So we basically just have to rotate it until they're linking together. Neat. Oh. Hey, Ava, check this out. Om nom 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 nom. Are you kidding me? <laughs> cool. And the clock. But we haven't, yeah, we haven't gone all the way back to his, like, childhood years. Ding! That's about all the ones we can work with. Ready to pull the switch? You know me, always ready. So I don't really understand how this, like, how this tricked Johnny into now, oh my god. So I don't know like how this tricked him into thinking that he's going to the moon now. We have to go to one that has mementos attached to it. We will find out, won't we? Oh, wow. Yeah, no, no change. At least it, 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 I do agree with them. It doesn't look like anything's changed. That's impossible. The desire was transferred. Was it not? It was. Hmm. 
We're just going to dump jump into each one and see what's going on. Huh? I guess this part is still the same too. Let's check somewhere else. Okay. So I guess we can go later to his adult years. Maybe he'll be in a moon. Or maybe he, or maybe he'll be in a rocket ship going to the moon. Floating through the sky like little Einstein or something, right? Mm, maybe we can't change Johnny's fate. I could see that. Okay, this isn't right. How could everything be the same? Let's confirm it. We need his last accessible memory. The music is very eerie. It's like kind of zombies ate my neighbors right now. This is the same setting as his real last accessible memory. I'm not too crazy about where this is going. Oh, we can't go in the house yet. Who is that? Johnny? What a pleasant surprise. We don't get many visitors around here. Oh shoot, this is a recycle of what happened before. My name is Dr. Ava Roslin and this is... What? I'm not saying it twice. Dr. Neil Watts. Are you familiar with the Sigmund Agency of Life Generation? Oh, you two are from the agency. Ah, yes, yes, that's right. How convenient. I've just been thinking of calling you. Lily, get us some tea, please. Lily? Ah. Oh. Freeze him, too. Well? Wait here. I'll go send the desire signal again. See if there are any changes. It transferred successfully for sure. Any changes? Not even a hair. How could this be? Even if his desire doesn't work alone, why is there no change at all? Perhaps, perhaps it just needs some provoking to activate. From this early memories? The earliest we can get to. Okay, so we have to go back to childhood Johnny's memories. Johnny's desire to go to the moon might need some stimulation to be brought up, huh? Well? Yeah, I guess we haven't really had any talk about the moon at all. So... That's kind of weird. What the? This wasn't what they said was playing. Oh, well. Do you mind, River? No, I like this one. All right, let's go then. She likes it. She's already seen this movie. Hopefully that's enough of an ignition. Wait, where is Neil? That's true. For some reason I thought he like stayed behind, but I suppose, yeah, we didn't really get an answer on that. He just kind of poofed, didn't he? Maybe he's in the theater. Alrighty. Hey Jay, uh, this is a story-driven uh, indie title about trying to change someone's memories. I would say, very, very light, without saying too much. Uh, we're probably we're like yeah we're three hours into the game right now. This is only like a four hour long game. Um, yeah, it's 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 very very story, very story focused. To the moon, darling. Ooh, Henry. 
Dear Lord, I'm way too tired and hungry to be constructing movies. Guess I should go see if anything's changed with John. Yeah, so the character that we're playing is, as is uh, is somebody who's trying to uh, ch change these memories for this this character, John, here, who's the, the little kid with brown hair. And then River, this is his future wife. Sorry for making you sit through this, buddy. It is pretty crazy how, like, something so minor can have such, like, a massive impact in our lives, you know? But this doesn't look like we've had any change at all still. I'll have to try igniting it somewhere else then. This is ridiculous. Lily? So now we're back in the future, talking to future John. Or, not future, but we've skipped ahead. Perhaps something here could work. So did she throw an encyclopedia in your face? Huh? Did she? Shut up, dude. What are you guys doing here? It's starting. Let's go get a good spot. Maybe they're going to an auditorium? Or uh, they're going to go see like a... Um, what's it called? What's the, what, what's the place called where you go and... Uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. Where you go and like, uh, you go and look at the stars. Blanking on the term. Also, I just looked over at my stream screen and thought that that was where the game was happening. <laughs> I just like mentally, I just glitched out for a second myself. Wait a minute. This isn't a real change. This is... May I have your attention, please? Oh, boy. Look at that suit. Planetarium. Yes, thank you. As you know, I am a representative sent from NASA in all its glory. Oh, God, no. And I'm here to tell you all about it. Hit it, Timmy. Wow, that was terrible. But I digress. <laughs> Anyways, I know that many of you are wondering. What chances do I have of doing something as awesome as adventuring in another realm? To inhale the sweetness of Venus? To swim counterclockwise through the rings of Saturn? Or perhaps just chilling at the backside of the moon? Well, here at NASA, we believe with enough will, everyone has the potential. <laughs> it could be you, or you, or perhaps, oh no, you, but I don't want to go to the, whoa, what? What? Wait, what, why not? Why should I? I'm happy here on Earth as it is. Well, don't you want to go there even a little bit? No. Why? Not even a tiny bit. Um, no. This is so weird. Yeah, this is almost like an episode of The Office. Well, as an official NASA recruiter, I shall go over some facts about the moon. To start off, the moon is 4.5 billion years old. And did you know that its surface is about as big as Africa? It's true. In fact, if you try to bike around the moon... Oh my gosh. Also, it takes 1.5247 seconds for light to travel to the moon from here. And if you drive a flying car, it takes 130 days. Oh my gosh. This is awful. And last but not least, people who go to the moon get rich and famous. And we all know that rich plus fame, famous equals group. Oh my God. So that concludes my presentation. Remember, NASA welcomes any of you, especially if you're a brunette. Wow, just really trying to, really trying to drive that home. I almost forgot for a second that this game is called To the Moon. Well, what do you think? NASA probably wouldn't hire you, but I suppose it was blatant enough for this. Hmm, I do try pretty hard. 
Are you going to go see if that worked? Of course. Be right back. Back. Report? Utter failure. <sighs> hey, don't get discouraged. I'm sure there are still things to be done. Such as? Well... Yeah, I don't know what... I don't know what to change now. Unless if you just, like... Try to keep River alive? I don't know. But you can afford the Lunar Trip Lottery. Oh my gosh. If you sell this house, you sure can. What is going on? Yeah, I don't know. I feel like a lighthouse could turn into a rocket ship and maybe, like... Fly to the moon. Is the diagnosis clear? Yes, in fact, we rarely have anyone. Ooh, I like that. Maybe it was River's dream. Did you know that NASA has excellent health care plans? It's true for both you and your spouse. There he goes. Free pony rides in space. What is happening? So much. Oh look, a wedding. Good for you. But here's a riddle. Guess where you should go for the honeymoon. Beth, this is this is rough. I feel for them. I really do. River? <laughs> Dang, Nevit, glass, slippery. J Johnny, J John? What the cucumber? Phew. You know what? This just isn't working. It's more than just not working, it's ridiculous. We're freaking professionals. I didn't sign up for the job to run around yelling at him like an idiot. You didn't? Look, maybe this lack of sleep's getting to us. Had I known that we'd all we'd be that we'd be an all nighter, or I would have brought coffee. I agree. You should have seen the movie I constructed earlier. What movie? Exactly. Anyway, as valuable as time is here, this just isn't going anywhere like this. Let's take a break till morning. Hopefully Johnny can hang on till then. I do have some calls to make. Bob, I am. I am trying to stream the whole game. I might have to take one more break before we get to the ending here. But, whoa, hey, okay doesn't make sense. Why did the machine have no effect? Johnny's registered wish to go to the moon was successfully transferred, yet there wasn't even a trace of him wanting to go to the moon after the transfer. Unless a secondary condition for the desire was changed in the process, only then would the same desire produce two different outcomes at two different points in time. There's no denying that River played an important role through it all. If there's anything that could have caused the core to change, she would be the top suspect. But out of all things, what exactly caused it? River, just what exactly did you do? That's a pretty shot. It's a very nice shot. We don't have much time left. I wonder if Neil came up with anything.
Hmm. I'm gonna look at the notebook again here and see where we're at. Ava Rosalind, or Rosalind, is a senior memory traversal agent. We're supposed to head into the house and take a look. Oops. <laughs> Alt tab lifesaver, we found that. Oh, and we are on chapter four right now. Okay, cool. Oh, hey, Felix. Nice. Um, I almost, like, cried quite a bit in the beginning. And I've the rest has been, like, pretty not happy, but, like, we've been seeing the rest of their life. Yeah, it's still, it's been, it's been chill. Oh, you can smell that squirrel Neil ran over from all the way over here. Huh. Ah, oh, that piano. I love the sunlight. Hitting the piano, it's beautiful. Tommy, but mama, I don't want to go to school. It's Sunday, dear. Shh, let them sleep. That's funny. I will cry if you get me olives. No olives. No olives, please. So basically, for Felix and for anybody else, we tried plant transplanting a memory that uh, in this guy, Johnny. Johnny wanted to go to the moon. We tried to convince him in his early days that he wanted to go to the moon, and it never worked out. So now... We're trying to figure out what went wrong, kind of. Why is he not accepting this this memory, this this thing that was going to push him to try to actually get to the moon? I really should have watched those two last night. They were up late. Well, it's not an everyday circumstance, I suppose. Oh, was there something you wanted to ask? Uh, yeah, we'll just ask all the questions. You know, it's pretty unusual for someone like you to work here, with two children and all, I mean... It's not that bad, really. There's a school bus that passes through here. But how did you even end up here? Well, a few years ago, my husband passed away. What happened? He was in the army. There were, they were the last batch to be deployed overseas. Sorry to hear. I panicked. Our savings were low, and the job market was grim. Johnny saw my ad and offered me this job, and I accepted it with gratitude. This place was peaceful, too. It helped me with my grieving. Doesn't the government issue grants to war widows to help them get back on their feet? They do, and eventually I received aid. But by then, Johnny was starting to have trouble of his own. He needed my help. Tommy and Sarah liked this place too, so we stayed. As for Johnny, he was glad as well. While we're going to miss him, I think deep down, he really wanted a family. So what are you going to tell them about John? I, I don't know. I'll probably make something up, but it... It's still no use. Kids are smart nowadays. They'll figure it out. Might as well. It's the nature of life. There's nothing to hide. What about the future? This is your full-time job, isn't it? What will you do when this is over? What else is there to do? Find a job in the city and live on, I suppose. It's a shame, though. I'm going to miss Johnny and this place. Maybe I'll come back to visit every once in a while. That's all we got for her. Oh, hey. Before Johnny fell unconscious, he told me that you two would probably be coming soon. He said that he probably wouldn't get the chance himself, but he wanted me to tell you thanks for him. So thank you. Okay, okay, okay. Is this the bathroom? I think this is the bathroom. It is! It's the bathroom. I don't want to know how close we are to the end, but I feel like we're getting there. I guess I mean, we only have two chapters left once we finish this one up, but... 
I want my life narrated by Xeon. <laughs> like that Family Guy. Wasn't there some Family Guy skit? Something about narrating a life? How is John doing? He's barely hanging on. What are you two doing? We just... We just couldn't make any progress. You'd better be soon. We don't have long. If you're looking for your colleague, I think he's in the kitchen. You know, I actually couldn't tell if we were in the present day or not right now either. I wasn't 100% where we were. Johnny's GLaDOS. Check the toilet, really? Oh, th this is, uh, yeah, this, this bathroom? Nothing. Nothing in the toilet. Are you happy? <laughs> yeah, I wasn't sure where Johnny was at either, actually, in this in this moment. In this moment in time. Well, I mean, I know he's in the bed, but... Oh, and I guess, right, we can always see... I forget about that. By pressing start, we can always bop over to the log. And we can get a look at Johnny there. Check his vitals. See how he's see how Johnny Boy's doing. Johnny Boy. We gonna get you the moon or what? Or what, mister? Uh, let's go to that kitchen. There he is. Watts. Hmm, what is it? It seems like our little Johnny here has some hidden records from the old days. Hidden records? Hidden medical records? To be exact. Apparently during his youth, he was administered a large dose of enhanced beta blockers. And what luck, they tend to have this little side effect on a curious thing called memories. What? Beta blockers? Johnny didn't have a heart condition, did he? Apparently not. Which leads one to wonder if the side effects were intended to be merely just that to begin with. And in such a large amount, its impact on his memories at the time of administration must have been significant. You think that's what kept us out of his earliest memories? Well, it's not the machine, I'll tell you that. The maintenance department yelled at me for scolding them. Aw, Mark! Mark, uh, Mark just donated some or, uh, some money with a super chat. That's really nice. He says, really glad for today's stream. Y'all rock, Olive. <laughs> Thanks, man. Gosh, you guys, what have I done with olives? What have we done? <laughs> for the record, anyone uh, just tuning in, I don't like olives. I don't. I don't like them. Felix seems to be shook about it. Uh, okay, so Dr. Watts says, I was just given the reconfiguration frequencies. That should get us past the blockers. And once we're in his childhood, it might finally be early enough to transfer his desire for it to work. Then what are we waiting for? But just one thing. Of course, there's always that one thing. In order to activate the new frequencies, we'll need a trigger. A trigger? Something that exists, exists strongly in the bridging accessible memory. And we'll need to give it to John for him to stimulate his memory internally. But what do we know of that? We've only gotten a glimpse of his childhood memories. And even if we find a childhood photo or something, John's unconscious. Yeah, back to square one. You know, this job hasn't, hasn't, hasn't been such a pain in the butt for me since Nora's case last year. Likewise, this is killing me. I'm gonna get I'm gonna go get some fresh air. There's the bunny. The bunny. Mm, forgot my coffee. Of course. Can't forget your coffee. Can anyone explain to me what beta blockers exactly are in the in the chat? I'm going to go read the memo here, but beta blockers. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Used to reduce stress. Side effects may include slight memory loss or alterations. But didn't they say that he had beta blockers when he was a kid? Hmm. I wonder why. Ah, uh, yeah. Next week's stream, just me eating olives. Deep fried olives. 
Olives with some Animorphs books. The roadkill, Ava. It smells. You know it's your fault for running over it. What's going on? The children are still asleep. Wait a minute. That last memory. The one we were stuck at. It was the same smell. What are you two talking about? The olfactory receptors are directly linked to the brain's limbic system, Lily. Don't you see what this means? Uh, what? He means that smell is arguably the most effective sense for memory recall. We can use it as the stimulant to bridge his childhood memories. Oh my gosh, are they going to pull the squirrel roadkill inside? And the best part, even though Johnny is unconscious, he's still susceptible. I think I'm missing some vital contextual info on this whole thing. All right, this is good. This is awesome. Now you just need to go fetch a piece of the roadkill. A piece? Wait, why should I fetch it? You're the one who just ran it over. Exactly, I've already done my part. <sighs> you miserable jerk. If it helps any, I... I have a pair of gloves you can borrow. <laughs> Oh, gosh. They aren't really disposable gloves, but that'll probably change after this. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I guess maybe maybe they're just going to put the squirrel in the room, and that'll be strong enough to make Johnny smell it. My goodness. Poor squirrel. I can't believe the squirrel has been... Has really been uh, been here all along, or is like is connected to all of this still? Yeah, I see someone uh, in the chat saying, "Please be silent about spoilers." I have not played this game, and I think a lot of the chat has not either. There's definitely some some of you that have, but yeah, let's try to be respectful. And um, I know it's it's tough to not talk about things when we get excited, but um, but we're we're getting there. We are going to finish this game today. So by the end of it, all of you will know if they get to the moon or not. At least it stopped smoking. Oh, poor thing. This, honestly, my brain just like maybe smells skunk for like a weird second, which is not a thing that happens. Yeah, there's no skunk in my room. The kind of thing this job gets me into. It's not safe to just bring in a piece of germ-infected roadkill like this. There's a valved container in the car. It'll make at least an odor-controlled controller. What if this is this is the moment where the new chapter comes through? Uh, my, that's a really good question. Uh, my in the chat just asked what made me want to play this game. Uh, so I, I've just had it recommended to me a lot over the years. I think especially in, in moments where I've talked about Mother, uh, people have just said that the story has really impacted them in very powerful ways. And so, yeah, so I bought this game on a whim at the Limited Run Game Store when I went last year. And just ever since, it's been, like, on my list of things to do because people talk about how, yeah, how just, like, how much it means to them. Uh, and, yeah, so I've had it recommended a lot over the years and just, yeah. Just wanted to give it a shot. I thought it'd be a fun, like, one-off stream. Like, because I'm, I'm kind of, like, in the middle. All the games that I'm playing right now, I'm, like, in the middle of. Like, I'm playing Persona 5 right now. I'm playing um, I'm playing Fire Emblem Engage further. Um, and I have a stream idea that I want to start next month. But I won't get into what that is exactly yet. I'm going to leave that a surprise. But, uh, but yeah, I just didn't want to start, like, a game that I knew I couldn't finish in, like, a stream or two. So, yeah, so that was kind of also why I was like, oh, this seems like a good time to play To the Moon. But, but yeah, I didn't really know anything about the game before today, except for the fact that the game was sad. So, and that, that's honestly enough to sell me on a game. It's just, just, just that, that principle alone is enough. Well, let's go. Let's get the roadkill in the house. Because that's what Johnny needs from us. He needs to smell the roadkill in the house. I feel I'm gonna feel bad for the house. 
Oh, hey, did you get the roadkill? It's ready. Great, go get it set up. I'll be right back. Watts is so stoked. Where are you going? I, uh, I gotta go feed my digital pet. What? Yeah, dudette, I've been feeling retro. Anyway, hurry and go set things up. I'll be there in no time. What are you? That's cre That's weird. I want to go creep on him, but what the potato is he up to? I've no time to check on him now. Mm, good point. I feel bad. Oh, I feel bad for the house because the house is gonna smell like, uh, it's gonna smell like roadkill now. Yeah, I feel bad for Johnny too, but just both. Also, my yeah, the the limited run store was really cool. The lighting in there was phenomenal. They had so many cool games in stock, and their pricing was really reasonable. I know you and I have talked about like prices before, but yeah, yeah, I did. I did make. I made one or two. Vi I think I made. Yeah, I made two videos on that one. Um, so when we get, uh, Doctor Rosalind says, so when we get to that exact point, I will send the signal. When I do, I want you to release the valve for about three seconds. Certainly says the doctor. About time you showed up. Have you made sure the germs are sealed off? Fully sealed and filtered. Not like it mattered to a dead man. You should know that Johnny's condition is deter deteriorating fast. This might be your last chance, you two. Whatever you do in there, good luck. Luck's the last thing we need. Isn't there, like, some, like, Star Trek or Star Wars, like? Oh, in Act 4. Okay. I think I'm going to quick run. I'm going to take another break super quick here. But I will be right back. And I'm going to pause the game like this so that way we don't actually miss anything. But I'll be right back. I promise. back we're back in business dr rosalind says let's go can we send this stream to the moon can we do that yeah we can maybe well we're gonna try we're gonna try oh my gosh what 
Just got given all the, oh, because we've done this before. So this memory doesn't feel necessarily familiar, but. Oh, there we go, the basketball. You did the funny art. Yeah, you can post the link in the chat if you want. I am, and Paul, Paul is Paul is here, just being a champ. Paul, I'm so sorry. This is the longest stream ever. You're you're an angel. You don't have to be here if you don't need to, please. But it's also really cool that you are. <laughs> to think that this little thing's causing us so much trouble. I just want to kick it to outer space. I suppose all we can do now is to send the signal and hope. Well, ready? What was that? It's like his memory is like rejecting. What happened? Doctor, something's wrong. Look at his vitals. What? Take over for me, Lily. His condition has been destabilized. Intake levels must be reconfigured. What's happening to this place? It's been destabilized. Get out. What? Get out of his memory, now. What are you talking about? If the system doesn't restabilize soon, the shock might permanently damage whoever's in here. Ah, okay, okay. This is like an Inception thing then, right? Why aren't you getting out then? I, I can't, Neil. If both of us get out under this state, all our work will be reset. There won't be enough time to redo all we've done before Johnny. Oh, you freaking... Don't pull that con contrived crap on me. This ain't a movie and you're no hero. So she's trying to like sacrifice herself to keep things going. Um. <laughs> then why are you being one too? Get the hell out of here. Screw that. If you're gone, they'll probably pair me up with Alistair. <laughs> Do you know how badly he smells? <laughs> Worse than the roadkill. Dang it, Neil. This is what I get for helping you cheat through the entrance exams. Paul's absolutely right. Thanks for everyone hanging out. It's been a journey. And Paul is an angel. Doctor. I think we're okay for now. Thebomb.com. Sorry, I'll never say that again. Okay, so they were super close to the house. And you guess what? Your carrot cake sucks? Wait a minute. Yeah. And at the last Christmas party, you... <laughs> oh. Come on. Let's go before that happens again. Uh, you know that I didn't mean to, you know, call you a moron, right? You know that I did, right? Okay. Oh, do we not have any more of those uh those puzzles puzzles to solve? I didn't even consider that that was the that we took care of the last one. It was that soccer ball. That's a weird seesaw if I've ever seen one before. Ooh, uh, Indigex asked if I've beaten Omori. I have not yet. I am still kind of playing it. Uh, I, I started it earlier this year with my buddy Zach, and then I put it down. And Zach made it, like, all the way through, and he loved it. But then, yeah, I, I just 
too many things kept popping up that I wanted to play instead. And that's another game that is like currently on my list of things that I'm playing. And I was like, well, I can't, I can't just play Amori on the channel because nobody, I don't, I want to, I want to make sure whatever I play is everybody can be there from the start. Or if it's like a multiplayer game or something like that, you know, then that's different. But what do you mean? It seems peaceful enough. Yeah, I'll have to take a look at... Maybe we can take a look and see if links can be approved or something like that in the future, but... Neil, did you notice something odd in Johnny's room earlier? Uh, what? There was something strange in there. Did you not see it? Uh, I, I suppose... I suppose not. Never mind. I just hope I'm wrong. Mori stream. <laughs> I didn't notice it. I'm curious to go back, though. Oh, gosh. That is a haunting figure sitting next to Johnny there on the swing. Okay, let's get out of here. Some Fatal Frame nonsense. Still. It's honestly still very chilling. Oh, nice job, Paul. Oh, gosh. Let me look at this super quick. Oh, my goodness. It's small of... Oh no! Oh, with long hair! That's great! That's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much. See, I do like... I like the Pokemon. I just don't... See, I, do you want... Does anyone want to eat that? I don't think so. I don't think so. You want to keep it alive. You want to... Right? You want to let it live a life. You want to put it outside. Let it find other small Zeons. <laughs> Go get a Slurpee. Ooh. Maybe it is. Maybe the ball is moving on its own. I want to know who this person is. I mean, obviously, we'll find out eventually, but I want to know now. Wait, can we go in the house yet? Or is that... Oh, there's the squirrel again. Shoot. All thanks to this little fella's sacrifice. I hope. Hmm. There we go. Miss Wiles. Oh, that's his mom? Oh, geez. Look at the time. I better get going. The store closes early today. Oh, take care, Martha. Say hello to the boys for me. I will. I'll see you around. Yeah, this music is haunting. I, yeah, part of me also wants to tell Mark uh, that he should wait because it does feel like something's going to happen. But um, but I don't know. But you do you, Mark. Please. I mean, this place, it's so peaceful. The only thing that exists in this memory that could do such a thing would be... Uh, uh-oh. We need to go back now. Wait, what's going on now? Just shut up and come. Come with. Yeah, F in the chat for the squirrel. Was there a car accident? Sure, okay. So that's when he got beta blockers. He got hit with a car as a kid. Oh, I mean, maybe he wanted to go to the moon before that, even. So if we can prevent the car accident in the memory. His mom just ran him over. Is that what happened? My God, what a horrible thing to like have to go through. If he was unconscious, how could we be seeing this here when he never did? Still, I'm just surprised that he survives. Actually, wait, what? He didn't? What? 
Didn't you see it in his room, Neil? Johnny slept on a bunk bed. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I saw the bunk bed. We talked about the bunk bed earlier. Joey, can you hear me? Joey. 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 Why did you hit... I, I, I don't think I can read this. I don't think I can read it out loud. Like, reading it makes it feel even more real. Like, reading it out loud. God. I did not see that coming. Like, the Joey thing did make sense. Like, at first, I, like... All right, um, it did feel like a brotherly thing. Oh, God, Paul. Way to go. Way to go, Paul. <sighs> okay. So the beta blockers also erased his want to go to the moon, or did Joey want to go to the moon originally? And then he wanted to go to the moon because of Joey. God, oh, that, that that crazy, like, discovery of the fact that, like, wait, why can we see this right now? And that was Johnny. And, like, it's because it, it, it wasn't. It wasn't him. Gosh. Dang. So, yeah, I wonder if, like, she just eventually started calling Johnny, Joey, like, yeah, on accident. Like, not that she really thought, yeah, I don't know. It must have been on accident. <clears throat> All right. I don't like it here. Let's move on. Yeah, I don't like this either. Seems like this wasn't the only memory unlinked. Ah, it's not pulling up a barrier anymore. Don't jinx it. Oh, okay. Oh, gosh, in public. Mark, do you not have headphones? Dude, you should totally give this series a try. I mean, really, it's just, uh, it's wicked awesome. I've already plowed through three books straight. What is it called? Animorphs. It's about this group of kids turning into animals to fight mind-controlling slugs. Meh, I don't like that weird alien stuff. Why not? It's great. Instead of going to boring school, they get to turn into tigers and maul big bad aliens. They're all like, roar, roar, roar! And then they pick up lasers, and it's all pew pew, pew 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 pew. Stop that. <laughs> Just watch, Johnny. One day, I'm going to be a famous writer. I'll write the coolest novel on the block, and every kid will get my book for free. I'll make us rich and buy both you and Ma really big houses. How would you get rich if you give away the books for free? Free for the kids. The parents will still have to pay, of course. Yeah, I'm not. Oh, no. I'm, so, I'm sorry, Mark. That makes sense now. Um, yeah, I'm sure the parents will be thrilled to give you money. What are, you, what are you still mad about the other... Or what? Are you still mad about the other day? Oh, come on. I called first dibs on the train fair and square. What happened to your prize anyway? I gave it away. To a hobo? Look, it's not just about that day. You know Ma always favored you. Hey, that's not true. Remember last Christmas? And last Easter, and the time we went fishing, and okay, okay, you know what? You can have my train if you want. Really? Yeah, yep. I mean, hey, by your reasoning, she'll just get me another one, right? <laughs> Listen, Johnny, what difference does it make who owns what? Everything that's mine is yours, too. I mean, we both get to play with it, right? Yeah. Right. I mean, come on. You're my twin brother, dude. You're like a part of me. Hey, let's go confuse the neighbors. 
<laughs> Their third brother. Wait, in the rain? Yeah, in the rain? Come on. Animorphs. Okay, so now we understand the Animorphs. 7-Eleven. Stay away. Don't get them. What are you guys doing? No. <laughs> oh, this is like a new... Oh, was there like a fair? There totally is. This is the fair from Chrono Trigger in the beginning. Shall we look around? How about I look around and you just stand here? How about we continue speaking in the form of questions for the next hour? Quit blabbering and just go already. Ah, you ruined it. Can we talk with these people? I don't know. They don't seem very talkable. They did, but... But I don't want this stupid toy. I want the train. That's the only train left. Do you want to exchange your prize for a teddy bear instead? No, I just want the train. Now, now, John, don't make a scene. Joey won it fair and square, didn't he? But I won too. He just went first. <laughs> it's okay. I'll let you play with it too. See how nice your brother is, Johnny? Okay, you dumplings, don't block the stand now. Come on, let's see what's over there. Oh, there's a fair in Stardew? That's cool. Ah, the fortune teller. You know what? I'm gonna call you Dumpling from now on. You're bluffing. Ah, yes, fortunes of wonder are ahead of you. This one might just become a lawyer, and this one a doctor. Oh my. Come on, I'm getting both of you treats. It almost looked like the uh, the scarecrow was the thing talking there. Hey, where's my tip? Ah, yes, the memory link orb. Thank you. Thank you. We needed that. And where are the treats for the kids? Are they this way? The mo the millennial is it the millennial fair? Is that what it was called? Requires three bars of memory link to proceed. Okay. In Chrono though, that was a lot of fun. Or like you could steal food from like the man and feed it to the cat or something. I think that was a thing as well. Welcome and behold, the world's smallest Ferris wheel. Can we ride it? Absolutely not. Does it even work? Absolutely not. Looks like someone just glued some chairs to a water wheel. Ah, don't know, don't care. Well, hey, at least that's a thing. There must be one up here and to the left then. Ah, fruits, fresh fruits, apples, oranges, and tomatoes. We got it all. Wait a minute, tomatoes aren't fruits. Uh. Yeah, they are. <laughs> they are the ovaries of the plant and contain seeds. That's what a fruit is. But come on, tomatoes? We never, ever refer to them as fruits. We who? I happen to enjoy cooking in groups, okay? Some of us take it very seriously. Okay, was that, was that three, actually? Oh, maybe this is three. Hey, is that whack-a-mole? Whack-a-what? Whack-a-mole. You take a mallet and whack moles. Isn't that animal abuse? They're, yeah, but isn't like running over a, a squirrel in the road also animal abuse? Uh, what? They're fake moles, butthead. It's how people blew off steam before FPS were in invented. How primitive. Yeah, it's, it's pretty ghetto. Where'd you read about that? My grandpa was a fan. Want to play? Just hit everything on the head and you win. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, oh, do we actually get to play whack-a-mole? Oh my God, look at this. I don't know how this works. Oh, it's broken. 
Oh no, it is broken. Can we get to 100? Oh nice, it's just one of these, it's one of these things. We're just supposed to hit it over and over again. 150, yes! Whew, I didn't realize that was the kind of game we were getting into here. You earned 151 points. Oh my gosh, this just is from Chrono Trigger now. New record, you won first prize. For your efforts, you get a hamster trophy and platypus dolls. Well, Neil, are you admit ready to admit how good I am? I really love this, don't you? It's a totally unimpeded memento link. Shut up and give me the trophy. We got three now, yay, yay. So you remember, this is exactly how Chrono Trigger goes. Whack-A-Mole is my favorite Chrono Trigger minigame, actually. <laughs> oh, actually, the mole was wearing... Um, actually, the mole was wearing a helmet, so it was completely safe. Alright, let's find the, the kids getting the snacks. Speaking of snacks, I need a snack. Mmm! I can never understand you, Joey. How can you stand the taste of them? They're just so sour and icky. Sour and awesome is what you mean. Just try it. Now, I don't even want to taste regular olives. You should try at least one, Johnny. Who knows? Maybe you'll like it. Yeah. Mm, ah. I'm done, though. Can I go play? Okay, but only at the playground and not an inch too far. Is he running off with his train? Just leave that bag. I'll keep it for you. No, it's mine. I won it. John's so stubborn. Okay, so we have four memory links now at the fair. Oops, we need five. And we're almost there. If Joey got a train and Johnny got a stuffed toy, can I conclude he got the platypus? I think that would make sense. Yeah. And maybe then he eventually gave it to... Maybe he didn't realize. And then he gave it to... Uh, River? But I almost thought he didn't know where it came from originally, so maybe he didn't give it to River, I don't know, but Ah, horse again! This is a long walk around here. I feel like I went the wrong way, though. I feel like I went too far. Oh yeah, I definitely went not the right way. Mad Pro is, oh, I'm getting warmer, okay, okay. Yeah, it looked like to the right, when I go back down here, it looks like to the right, like up there. I thought I saw like a playground area, but. Oh, that's the Ferris wheel, okay. That's why, that's why I saw that and thought that. I see, I see. I think I have to go back this way. Ugh, I wouldn't drink that. Oh, nice. Well, that that's the fifth one. Cool. So now we can go to the right, and that should be the playground area, I think. <laughs> the horse. He's staring down the horse. Just actually, he doesn't care about the horse. Turns out, I was just kidding. Actually, I'm gonna look at our notes though. It keeps like blinking up there. It's like, hey, are you gonna read me or what? I'm like, yeah, I guess so. Um, I don't feel like we got anything unless there's something on this screen that we got. 
Mm, maybe just Johnny's twin brother Joey passed away when he was young. I think that was new for the note, at least. Oh, but it says there's still more. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Maybe it doesn't always appear. Oh, the mole trophy. Or the hamster trophy. Represents truth, strength, and speed. Oh, and we are on chapter five now. Cool. I forgot. Forgot that we officially started that. Oh, there he is. Johnny, where are you going, boy? Way to follow mom's orders, huh? Yep. Always trying to get in trouble. He's so stubborn. Where's he gonna be? Is mom gonna be? Mom gonna be missing you, boyo? I mean, I remember running off as a kid, getting in trouble, going places you shouldn't. So, wanna, you wanna feel like strong and feel like you're an adventurer? You gotta be careful. Is the lighthouse over here? You think? Let's face it, he could have also been eaten by a pack of tigers. Tigers don't travel in packs, idiot. It was just an expression. You know, when I was a kid, my grandpa took me stargazing every year. Yeah? There was a hill outside of the city that we'd stay at. The same one every year. We'd watch the stars till daybreak. Well, I did mostly. He just carried the telescope for me. Of course course. The thing was, though, Ma didn't want me to stay up late. Grandpa always told her that we were just camping and hid the telescope inside the car. That's all good, but when we got back in the morning, I had to pretend like I'd actually slept. So in conclusion, that's the story of how I started my caffeine addiction. <laughs> You're terrible. It's a shame, though. Uh, Paul says, Johnny fell off the cliff as a child. Jose has been posing as his brother ever since. No. All these nice memories lost and never found. And who knows how many more like it. Well, as you say, just take it moment for moment, right? Ah, mm. oh, crap. I told the packs of tigers. Wait, what? I told, I told you packs of tigers dwell here? Packs of tigers named River? Hello. Wait, don't go. I'm Johnny. What's your name? You're at my spot. Your spot. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hog this place all to myself. Um, you want to join me? Are you here to watch the stars? Are you? That's cute. That's real cute. So, they met each other at a young age, and then Johnny had his memory wiped thanks to the beta blockers and forgot that this ever happened, but then had this fascination with River all his life, but didn't know why he exactly liked her. He just did. Eh? Is that... Does that sound right? Is that, does that make sense? I'm gonna screenshot that. Just look at him. Did you know there were so many lights in the sky? Yes. Oh, uh, I did too. You said this was your spot, right? Only during the carnival. Not a fan of the crowds? Me neither. 
You know, you still haven't told me your name yet. <laughs> I'm not telling you. Everyone makes fun of it in school. Why? They say it makes them want to go to the washroom. Uh, okay then. Well, it can't be worse than John. I mean, everywhere in the world, nearly everyone's named John. Even in India? Probably. What's wrong with that? Hmm. What's wrong with having a name that everyone has? Well, it's boring, I guess. I mean, if everyone has it, then what's the point? I wouldn't mind. Just for once, to have the same name everyone else has. It's like those lights in the sky. They all look the same from here, but that doesn't make them any less pretty. Eh, I suppose. What do you think those stars up there are anyways? My dad said they're giant burning spheres of gas. Oh, I bet he's just making it up. Why would he lie to me? Because, you know, that's what grown-ups do. They just make things up. Santa, the Easter Bunny, kangaroos, stuff like that. Have you ever made an Easter Bunny out of stars? <laughs> like a constellation? Yeah. Um, of other things, I've never tried a rabbit, though. Do you want to make one? Yeah. Well, yeah. We'll make the bestest constellation ever. Let's see who makes out makes makes one out first. John Cartwright. Okay, we'll start in three. Three, two, one, and star. I, I see it. Where? In the sky. Um, but where in the sky? Think big. Uh, bigger than all the others. I don't know. Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. I see it. Tell me what you see. There, right there. There's the two ears and head. What else? And there. There's its two feet. What else? And, and, and the moon. The moon is its big round belly. Wow, okay. <laughs> Thanks for catching that, Paul. So what do you think they really are? The stars. I mean, I... I've never told anyone, but... I've always thought they were lighthouses. Billions of lighthouses stuck at the far end of the sky. Wow, it must be so lively up there. But it isn't. They can see all the other lighthouses out there, and they want to talk to them. But they can't because they're all too far apart to hear what the others are saying. All they can do is shine their lights from far away. So that's what they do. They shine their lights at the other lighthouses and at me. Why you? Because one day, I'm going to befriend one of them. That bag, what's in it? Oh, it's the prize I won from... Oh, gosh, yeah, there it is. Right, I forgot what's in the bag. Oh, did you get to play that game? I tried, but I'm too clumsy. What did you get from it? I got a, I got, I got a thing. I don't really know what it is. <laughs> it's some kind of a weird duck, beaver thing. May I see it? It looks so strange. I wish I could win one myself. Johnny! Johnny! Ah, that's my mom calling. Here. You know what? Keep it. It's yours. Mine? Yeah, I can always get another. 
I don't like to brag, but I'm totally the best at that game. Will you be here next year? Yep. Will you? Yeah. Same place, same time? Yeah. What if you forget or get lost? Then we can always regroup on the moon, silly. Yep, 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 coming. Oh yeah, I forgot my hacky sack in the bag. You said you're clumsy, right? Maybe it'll help. Wow. And he didn't even remember the hacky sack. Dang. I mean, he didn't remember his brother, right? So that's a, that's a big... That's a big miss. <laughs> ah, okay. The struggle is real. <laughs> if they ever get lost? Wait, does that mean... Don't tell me you didn't see that coming. And here I thought this was going to be an inspirational childhood dream story. I should have known that some girl would come along and turn it into a cheese fest. <laughs> I suppose now we know what we must do to send him to the moon. Wait, you aren't actually going to do it, are you? <laughs> it's our job, Neil. It's what we are contracted to do. Dang it, Ava, wait! <laughs> the title drop. Yep, it happened. You're right. So what I'm what I'm curious to see though is how this actually still gets done. <laughs> I know you're in here. This is all your fault. Whoa. Watts, chill out, man. This is no, this is not. I'm doing this for you. Artificially Whoa, 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 whoa. Watts is just ticked. What are we looking for? Are we looking for uh, his friend? No. Let's see what the let's see what the menu says. Sacrifice the child. The music is pretty intense right now. Yeah, that is kind of weird. Uh, I do I see what you mean. Like what made him remember the moon now? But Ava must be stopped. Oh gosh. So wait, what are we trying to do? No, but the reason he wants to go to the moon is because of, of, uh, oh, right, Ava. Right, Ava is Rosalind, right, not River. Sorry, brain farting for a second. Do I have to poison the food? Do I have to remove olives from his life? I don't know what to do now. Yeah, the bag won't let me do anything. I can't really mess with the food or anything here, or the people even. Let's look in the notes again. Yeah, gotta find Jose. Psh. Um, follow little Johnny and take a look. Well, that's kind of what we've been doing. And his buddy, we couldn't really talk to them, I don't think. Yep. The platypus, we did look at that, right? Yeah, stuffed toy platypus. Can't really interact with it, though, beyond that. The vending machine? Yeah, nothing. The window? No. Do we have to talk to River again? Yeah, that's so weird. I don't know what to do now. Oh, you can leave the cafeteria. Ah, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I think... Ah, oh, maybe it was... I just didn't walk down here far enough, right? Oh, interesting. Yeah, it looks like the cafeteria is blocked off. Thank you. Nice. 
Mm, he doesn't know why he wants to go to the moon? Interesting. Okay. That's right. I do remember that now that you mentioned it at the beginning of the game, right? He gets asked why he wants to go to the moon, and he says something about he doesn't know, right? Turn around. Neil, I know what you're planning to do. I know that you know. I actually don't know what she wants to do right now, so... Yeah, well, I know that you know. <laughs> Look, our contract is to send him to the moon. And the only way for that to happen is if Johnny is motivated to do so. But if that means removing... Oh, come on. No, no. It's, 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 no, no. That, we can't do that. The reason why he even wants to go to the moon in the first place is because she died. Wait. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yep, okay. I know, but we are legally bound by the contract to specifically... Screw the contract. I didn't take this job to make him miserable, Ava. I don't know about you, but I signed up to help the freaking geezer die happy. Me too, and I like this job. But if we directly go against our legal obligations, we'd be in for court hearings. That doesn't matter. We'll appeal. We know that. Johnny'd be happier not to go to the moon. Johnny would be happier with a lot of alternate life tangents, Neil. We are not here to play God. Our job is to give him what he signed up for. Well, we happen to know what he wants better than he does. Look, I'm only risking losing River because I believe in her. And what do you mean risk? You are removing her. And besides, I'll make up for it. Make up for it how? We're running out of time. Just trust me. This is weird. Says the one who pushed me off the lighthouse. And everything's collapsing now. So she's trying to delete River? Weird. Booby traps, really? Just trying to buy some time. Oh, I thought that was like a trap right there. That line in the in the wall. Oh, we can't go upstairs. Computers now, too? These are some expensive pieces of equipment you're tossing. Seriously, just stay put and wait till I'm done. Oh, shove off. Okay, we just gotta keep going. This is not the time for me to just, like, uh, stop and look for clues, right? Are we in a loop? Look, don't make me exit this whole thing and unplug you. Would you really risk, risk di distorting his memories as they are? Just stop trying, please. This won't take long. Ugh, not again. Oh, come on. Oh, or come and find me at the end of the hall. Yeah, this is weird. I don't like not knowing what's going to happen next. Zombies? Zombie Avas? Dear Lord, they aren't just they aren't just zombie Avas. They're Zombievas. Oh no. Don't come any closer! I got plants! Nice. You can attack the zombies. Oh no, run! Where are more plants when I need them? Oh, creepy, it's the art room. Oh, cool, we can just spit as many plants out as we want. That's good. Oh, we got that one already, maybe. Oh, the platypuses and river. Oh, maybe we're seeing the scenes of their life now? Ah, shoot! The spikes, oh my gosh, this really is a video game. Oh no, shoot. Oh no. Gotcha. Gotcha, baby. Shoot, these spikes. Oh my gosh, this is plants versus zombie of us right now. I didn't even realize. That's great. Oh, that's so funny. How cute. 
Have I made it to the point that I need to be? I don't know. And we just need to keep going. Oh, yep. Yeah. Okay, we do need to keep going. Because now there's bowling balls. What comical traps. Oh, shoot. Oh, this, no. This is awful. Oh, good. Good, good, good. So we have to hide in some of these rooms sometimes, it looks like. We need to hide from the bowling balls. Good. We're doing all right now. Maybe now we're safe. Oh, almost. That was creepy and weird. What the? Did we just go through that and like appear somewhere else? Okay, we don't have plant plant music uh plant uh powers anymore by the way. Ava, what happened? Ava. Did we step out of that world maybe? Oh, there's the bunny. The bunny moved. That was weird. Oh, gosh. Here's like multiple Johnnies. It's finished, River. She won't be alone anymore. I just, I just don't want to be another typical kid in a sea of typical people. What is it like? Just the responsibilities, I suppose. Hmm. Right, we're re replaying memories now. There goes the bunny. Hippity hop, 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 hop. Whoa! Oh my gosh, this is like, this is actually kind of scared me. <laughs> Those are just, just some horses, right? Oh. It's such a shame that, like, Johnny. Uh, maybe I should step back and think about this more, but it feels like Johnny was just always just trying to make River, I mean, and himself happy. Yeah, because, yeah, he, he had himself first and foremost quite often, but I don't know. He, he's a little too realistic sometimes. Just live in the fantasy world a bit. I'm Johnny. What's your name? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hog this place all for myself. Your spot? Oh, right, right. Yeah, those kids are way too good at playing the piano. My goodness. Look, it was a long time ago. There's no date or time, Johnny. There's no date or time, Johnny. Hmm. The music went away. Oh, it's, it's coming back. Sorry. And now we're playing PT. Hello, hello, Neil. Morpheus? What? It's Ava, you idiot. No way. We're the, we're the only ones here. Listen, whatever you've been doing, stop it. We might not know what Johnny wants, but we know what he doesn't want. And what he doesn't want is exactly what you are accelerating. It's already done, Neil. Why don't you come out now? That's a, a, a much nicer looking door. Okay. So we're back, or we're still in school, rather. Oh, yeah. Matrix reference. I didn't even think about that. That's good. She's 
got escorted out of school? What did you do to her? Relax, she's merely going elsewhere. You know, it's one thing to disable my controls to feed me some olives, but this is way out of line. I'm sorry, but this just won't go anywhere if you keep on resetting the memory. At this point, this is the only way. I'm asking you to trust me. So please, just calm down and wait here. Then just pull the trigger already. Where are you going? There's just one last thing I need to do. There's no need to visualize a door. What's with all this melodrama, Neil? Why are you fighting so hard for this? Forget it. There's no time. Yo, Paul, I read your comment there, and I was like, maybe. Maybe. Okay, okay. Hey, what are you... Shh. <clears throat> Hello? Yeah, god dang it. Sorry, kid. It's already started. Come on, they're going to hog all the good tables. They're all the same. Sheesh. And that's Joey, right? So are Joey and Johnny both, like, grown up now? Like, Johnny, Joey never died? Nah, Joey's right. The ones by the kitchen smell better. Totally. And olive refills are just steps away. Like, olives? Hey Cameron, thanks for popping by. It's very, very kind of you to say hey. And thanks, I'm, I hope people are enjoying the stream. Hope we're all ready to get wrecked, it seems. We can't always find, he can always find another river, Neil. But he'll only have one brother. Hmm. Come on, we're in the way. So it sounds like <laughs> they went back and made Joey alive. But I can't tell if we're seeing. Mm. Yeah, okay. All right. Yeah, I get it now. I get it. Okay. The moon is all we'll see. All I see to the God, this sucks. Like in, in a good way, you know? Hey, there's a NASA poster now. I don't was that that wasn't there before, right? world is no more. 
I'm trying my best to keep it together. It is so good, though, to like, to like, yeah, see this timeline, like you said in the, this song is really pretty, too. I'm as okay as we can be, you know? It's not real, it's just a game. It's just a game, right? Is that his application in NASA? <laughs> Crikey. <laughs> He's famous now. <laughs> Unless... I don't know if Johnny... I couldn't tell which one was necessarily which, but it would make sense that Johnny became famous, became a famous astronaut and was signing books, right? <laughs> this looks like a hospital. Oh, it's NASA. <laughs> okay. Donkey Kong, you uh you picked the perfect time to stop in at the stream. Um uh just uh we've just hit the climax pretty much of the story. So it's uh it's one of those It's just one of those moments. Joy became an author and sold books. Mm. <laughs> okay. This isn't a success. Oh, lighten up. We're in NASA. We don't have much time left. Let's at least check this place out. Johnny really made it. Yeah, but who is this? Yeah, who is this? Oh, maybe this the silhouette is just, yeah, the employee. Please wait here. Someone will come and show you around shortly. How pathetic. All this trouble just for some girl? That's what I thought you'd say, Neil. How pathetic. <laughs> All this trouble just for some girl. There you go. Good to have you back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is he going to space? I don't know. We'll find out. We will find out. We don't have the time to just stare at them. At him. Wow. Okay, yeah, Joey wrote a book called To the Moon. Yeah. The story about a lame duck's attempt to become an astronaut. I can't believe this crap actually sold. This isn't the real world, Neil. So this is what NASA looks like, eh? Wow, I can't believe NASA, like let us in on this little this little secret <laughs> Johnny is going to Sky Islands to save Hyrule from Ganondorf oh yeah I wonder if Johnny felt that he wanted to live like a different life at the end there I mean obviously maybe we'll, maybe we'll find something here <laughs> All right, we'll find something that makes a bit more of this click, but. <laughs> like, why? Why did he want to go to the moon? Maybe the moon, yeah, was a, a secret, uh, an analogy for seeing his brother again. I don't know. Is it me, or is this elevator smaller on the inside? Uh. There are multiple floors. Of course NASA has multiple floors. 
second floor. Here we are. It's nice that we're walking around with Johnny now, too. This is the Mission Control Center. Hmm. Hmm. Ooh, what's that big orb? There's not much going on now, but you'll see it live one day. I want to go check that orb, though. I have expected to see Zordon on that screen. Oh, my gosh. That's great. Oh, what? Let's just go. I want to go see whatever this thing is over here. It's like a control Cons console. Oh, it looks cool. Is this a teleportation device? It looks like a, not a door to an airlock, but yo, it looks like. <laughs> Pretty sure we saw that orb in the latest Tears of the Kingdom trailer. Maybe. Uh, let's not kneel. Let, let, let's not kneel. Let's not. I wonder if I missed any uh, memories down below. If you're lucky, you'll learn to hate it one day. What? Why? What is this? Oh, this is one of those machines that, like, teaches you... Makes you feel like... Uh, zero G? Is it like a... It's one of these machines that, like, uh, trains you? Trains you for, like, being an astronaut? I just want to talk to Johnny instead. Can I talk to him? There we go. And here's the centrifuge. If you're lucky, you'll learn to hate it one day. Ah, yes, the spinny thing. It's not here either. What is she looking for? What are you talking about? Come on, we don't have long left. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. And why are they ghosts? Uh, they're just kind of like, they're not ghosts. They're just kind of uh, people that aren't relevant to the task at hand, I think. The, the people that are like grayed out. They're not like central to the story. So they just, they're just kind of there. Mm, yeah, yeah. Yep, you, you said it well. I hope the, the real NASA has bigger elevators. <laughs> Four. Fourth floor. We've got two memories to find, though. Two memory links. The shuttle's still under heavy maintenance. We may only view it from here for now. Ugh, this isn't good. Perhaps there's somewhere we missed. Ugh, you need to work on your communication skills. Okay. Hey, look at it! That feels really rewarding to actually see that, like, and know that he's here with that. Oh, yeah. You know what's the best part of it? What? The very top and bottom of the shuttle. I'd have to agree. <laughs> oh, how I pity anyone who can't see those particular parts. Indeed, especially its nose at the, at the top. When maintenance finishes, it probably won't look the same. Yeah, now's the only time. Okay, so there's got to be one more memory link that we missed on the first floor. Okay. Thankfully, the elevator takes us down. Yes, and those green circles on the bottom. For anyone just tuning in, uh, the green memory, the green, wow, the circular orbs that we're finding on the bottom are memories, and we're trying to find all of them. 
At the park, he said to River that they'd reunite on the moon if they ever got lost. That's why he somehow... Oh, gosh. Well, I look forward to seeing that for myself. Okay, so I, this door here I didn't go in, and that's probably where the last one is, maybe? If I were a betting human... I wonder if the real NASA looks like this. Probably not. It's constructed in part with Johnny's beliefs, after all. Ah, yes, a wiki of existing facts tainted by personal fairy tales. Ah, yes. It's odd, though. You hear birds and see none. Sorry, Neil. I really thought there was a good chance. What? And this is the break room. Here's David. He's a mission specialist. David? Was it David the one from the Animorphs book? Nice to meet you. At least he's got into NASA, I guess. You think he made it to the end? Even if he did, it'd take more than just a few years to become an astronaut. Let's hurry and find the last link, then. I hate to miss the finale. What's going on? Are we out of time? I, I, I don't know. Hey! That's cool. Ah, and here's our other new recruit. River, right? Good to have you on board. Hello, I'm John. Phew. I almost thought she wasn't. What the? F Ava? <laughs> but you deleted her. No, I told you. I just, I just moved her. What she does with her life here is still up to her. But this new world, it's based on public data and Johnny's own beliefs. I'm so glad she's like not gone. My gosh. And since River's data as an individual is not recorded in the public domain, it all comes from Johnny. But even then, that merely increases the odds. How were you sure that it'd work? I wasn't. It could have gone very badly, you know? You never, you were never one to take risks, Neil. Let's just say I won this round. We still have the two spare helmets, right? I think Johnny'd appreciate some company. What's happening? Oh, they're going to the moon. With, okay, okay. All right. <laughs> they're going to the moon together. Hey, is that a picture of Earthbound in the background there? <laughs> oh, sorry, it's gone now, but. Cool, John still plays piano. <gasps> what if we get to play as River now? This is, we're, um, we're living in John's memories, in John's head right now. He wrote it himself, apparently. Rather repetitive, if you ask me, though. What's it called? To the Moon. I like that name, said River. Look at them practicing together. Wait, is that the doctor and Lily? We're all going to be in this world now?
So I wonder if in this timeline as well that River got like the help that she needed as, at a young age to like know how to like live with herself as well. I, I want to see how River is different in this case and how Johnny is too. Because he, he felt like he held so much resentment. Johnny's dying. That's what's happening with him. Inception to the moon. Oh, it's us now. Car! Let me look at the car. Okay. The car is blocking our path, that's all. I want to be an astronaut too, Dad. Oh, are we going to... Yeah, cool. <laughs> Dr. Watts, don't be so salty. The ending is as it should be. Did you think that they'd make it? <laughs> nah, was that nah? Did you? The way she is, I didn't think she would succeed. But I, I guess I was wrong. All the better then, isn't it? Yeah, I'm happy for them. Yeah, really, really because we paid. He paid us to do it. You're so right. You should have seen him back when, he, when we went to school together. I swear, the guy never rested. He just kept on trying and trying. It was like he only had one goal to work for. The guy just never stopped trying. Is that, is that Joey? Yep. You know, that's my brother in that shuttle. Yep, I once wrote a book about this too, with a less optimistic ending. <laughs> I might have to change that after all. Hey, Dr. Watts, right? Thank you for letting us in here. Yeah, yeah, Ava's the one who requested it. Did you find out why you wanted to go to the moon? Of course. And what all happened here? Let's just say it was a bunch of sappy cheese that sorted itself out. I'm glad that I'm here to see him off. Thank you. You know... There were quite a few times last night where I thought we just lost Johnny. I think he consciously held on to wait for you two. He's rather patient then. I just hope it's worth the wait. Okay. I thought this might be a good view. Good enough to cut off the traffic, eh? Sure. Even if they were real. Well, this is it. All we've worked for. Ready to initiate it? What do you think? What do you think, chat? I think I know what you're going to say, but... What do we do? Not yet. Whoa. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I was like, man, who really doesn't want to, uh, who really doesn't want to see the, if we get above 90%, I'll hit the initiate button. We're at 80% right now. I think it'll happen. Can I vote? Uh, I probably can't. If I had my phone. <laughs> if I, that's true. If we initiate, I suppose he will die. How do you feel, everyone? You feel good? Do you feel, do you feel at ease? I, uh, let's wait for Johnny to die a little more. <laughs> my goodness. Yeah, hasn't the man suffered enough? All right. I think I'm going to I'm going to end the poll unless if anyone has any final unless if anyone's trying to submit their response and, and wants to get it in. 
I'm going to end the poll. And we're going to hit the button. Okay. I believe all of you have, have voted. So what happened? Oh, 31% of you voted. I appreciate that. I appreciate it. All right. That initiate button has been hit. The launch sequence is in the works. Why not? You're just going to push me off the ledge again, aren't you? Probably. Let's send him to the moon. But the view is worth, worth the odds. Let Johnny continue to live. Look at them on the ship together. So sweet. I can't believe they actually are going to the moon. You know, like I thought the moon was going to be just a big metaphor in the end and in ways it is, but look at them. You know what's kind of weird in like this strange way is is like Johnny forgot who River was, you know, like because of the blockers. But he still like found her in the end, anyways. And she ex like opened him, opened up to him, and let it happen. And yeah, maybe they didn't get their perfect ending, but they were still there. Look at that. <laughs> Those little jerks. Do you think we're going to get to see them land on the moon? God, that view of the sunset is just gorgeous. Uh, are we hearing like the life support, like the machine? There's no heartbeat anymore. He still made the house in this memory. Oh, the platypus better go to the moon. Yeah, that's nice. Wait, he's not realizing this is...
so sad. Imagine like living life with like that much regret. Maybe I've taken it the wrong way, but like, God, it just sucks. Good game. Game is good. <laughs> it's a weird concept of like, like wanting to like change your outcome for your final moments or whatever, I guess. I appreciate Z Ziki, Ziki92 for hanging on the chat so much and like giving some very careful insight into the game as well. That was really, really nice. Uh, with just like tiptoeing around the, the story and, and helping and making sure that, you know, I know some other people already said it earlier, but I just also want to say thank you. Um, Cause it was cool. I think a lot of things would have gone over my head and uh, it was nice. It was nice to have that. <laughs> oh God. I probably honestly would have cried like way more too if like I wasn't on a camera, but I think there's just like, there's that, there's that thing that you just can't turn off, you know, like it's, it's like not wanting to cry like in front of family or something, or I don't know, in front of a crowd of people or whatever, but God, I'm glad that so many people like that you all just hung out and played this with me. It was very nice. I was really worried that like nobody was going to want to like come hang out with this, like, you know, this, this game and. Um, so thanks, thanks for hanging out. It was it was very special. I, I think I, I think I get it. <laughs> oh, Paul, come on, man. Paul was there. I streamed a very different game. I streamed Layers of Fear on my own personal channel like a year ago. I think Mark might have been there for a bit of that too, but Paul was there for like the whole thing. <laughs> thanks, Paul. Hey. No one needs to cry. I'm just being, just, just being transparent and honest. <laughs> Here he is. Thanks. Off you go now. Are there are sequels? Really? I still can't believe Johnny just willed the house to Lily like that. Who else was there to give it to? Us? <laughs> Terrible place for burials, though. There's a landslide. <laughs> They'll just be swimming with the fishes. Still a little too soon? Nah, it's never soon enough. Nice. New ringtone. Hello? Ava here. We're on our way. New patient? New patient. Oh my god. Just day after day. I mean, I, you're making dreams come true, but oh my gosh. Gosh dang it. So is the sequel then like them? Is it Ava and uh, Watts again? Like just... Uh, of of them, uh, wow, is it of them going to like a new patient? Is that what the is that what the the sequel is? Was that a music box? Oh, so is that we can go like listen to the music whenever we want? Nice. 
This must be the track that played with the vocals. Oh yeah, Paul, yeah, he did, he did. I'm gonna read the chat now. Paul did save a bunch of layers of fear clips. <laughs> it was really fun. Uh, yeah, the, to the moon cinematic universe. Yeah, Mark, Paul was definitely, Paul was there for that. That's a small world. Finding paradise is Ava and Watts with a new patient. There's a pretty significant time gap. That's amazing. It's really cool how like initially, and even like throughout the stream as well, I like, I don't know about you, but like I felt that Neil and Ava were just kind of like jerks. When really, like, they just did have the best, uh, the best things in mind for the patient. But I didn't, like, see it that way for a long time. But, uh, I suppose that's just, per that's what perspective does to you, right? Beta B. Everything's all right for River. Oh, yeah, remember when he got handed everything's all right and said, no, it's not. Having lived... I like how intentional and thoughtful the titles are as well for these songs. That's cool. <laughs> Let's play the whole series! Maybe, maybe! Oh, gosh. Alright, everyone. Well, I think, um, I think I'm going to go and uh, go rethink my life. Maybe make some food. <laughs> uh, not play something super sad. Uh, I might finish some Breaking Bad or uh, Better Call Saul tonight. I got to talk with Felix about that, but... Um, but yeah, thank, thanks for hanging out. Uh, I don't know. I feel a little, not lost, but just like, that was a lot. Uh, I hope all of you are doing okay as well. Um, you know, it's, it's, good to, it's good to have conversations with people and just, you know, uh, if, just, you know, don't, don't, don't try to live with things that you, don't, don't live with re regrets. I don't think that's what's happened here. You know, I don't, at the end of it, I don't think that Johnny regretted all the decisions he made in life. I don't think that's what happened. Um, but I think he did wish that things could have been changed, you know? And um, if there's ever things that you can do to make your lives better, just try it. Just see what happens. But but I'm going to take off. Thank you all for hanging out. Give give Paul a round of applause for hanging out for this incredibly long stream as well. I Honestly, I don't know how much, like, moderating you, like, did... I know how much moderating you did, but I didn't see any like spoilery comments or anything like that. So thanks, Paul. Thanks for everyone for keeping it so civil and chill for hanging out. And if there's another game that I should play soon, it doesn't matter what kind of genre it is. Let, it, let me know. Let me let us know in the comments on, of this video. Let me know on Twitter, uh, you know, in our community posts, anything like that. Just, just let us know. So I hope you all have a good night. Thanks for hanging out and I'll, I'll catch you. I'll catch you around, right? I'll see you later.